Greetings one and all to your weekly dose of 10 o'clock. This is your regular person that's now having to control all the scene switching, Xenogellion. And that is Murder Dr. Oh, Loz. I thought you were going to go with homeless person, but fair enough. I have a home. I've got two homes. I've got two homes. I've got keys and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Keep yeah. telling yourself that. The internet is supposed to be installed on Monday. Mm. Yeah. Kind of lucky. Right, so first thing of the week, emblems. So no guest between Loz and I. This is actually a really old one in my collection, going back like 2017. We just never used it before. He's thinking hard. What is it? Like a head. It's like an animal head. What kind of animal is that? I don't know. Why is, um, what's got lotus slaves using some kind of random leaf instead of a lotus flower? Is that Canadian? Right, and how is that a Canadian leaf of any kind? Didn't, didn't say it was a Canadian leaf. They're just, they're Canadians. They love leaves, don't they? Wow. Have a leaf on your flag and your bard for uh, sorry, not bard, Brad for everything. Go use leaves for everything then. No, I don't know. Um just when I I bummed. I was gonna do an eye catcher and I bummed to start with. Alright, let's get a tally on this. Just to uh, point out, uh, just on your one, that green dot isn't the eye, that's the frame. Yeah, that's part of the frame. Yeah. Translucent though. The thing is I think yours would have benefited if it wasn't translucent. I, th I think it would have benefited better if it wasn't. Maybe. Yeah. But considering like some of the stuff that we see today, I actually quite like it. Fair. Well, who are you going to say wins then? Mine. Why? It's awful. Yours isn't any better. I sh to be I'm fair, standard. I can barely read yours. It's kind of small. I think mine's better. Mine draw. I mean, yours, like... Nope, draw. I know, but I'm just, yeah, just, just give you that. I mean, I'm just looking, like, looking at the shape and features of yours. I just, I just don't like it. Just like the, the beak at the front doesn't really clip and it has sort of like this little bit at the bottom that hangs down. It's apparently toothless or has like... If you want a chance to win 150 platinum, please go into the description below. Got where... horn. What? Why has he got horns and fins? I don't care. Right, go into the description below where you'll find a... Google form to these two emblems, which I why will actually update this. What? Why is it a ghost? Is it a ghost? Is that why you can and, see through? And it? put in your in-game name, platform of choice, select which emblem you like, and you can have a chance of winning 150 platinum for your platform of choice in two weeks' time. I'm very sorry that I have failed to actually update the uh, the emblem giveaway yet again, but life has been crazy. He doesn't I, even have any eyes. I'm gonna stab him. Stab him. <laughs> I'm going to spit in his popcorn when we go to the cinema. Lars, I heard you wanted extra salt. Anyway, so you're going to say something else, aren't you? Just get over it. I mean, its jaw is like, doesn't have any point where it can bend. It just looks fixed. It just, I, don't get, I don't even get what that is. Right. What is that? Moving on. Dojo dusting. Leaf hater. God. You hate we leaves, don't you? No. Why do I hate leaves? Because you hate leaves. Why? You hate this leaf. It's just a leaf. And you hate it. Of all the special things you could make an emblem of, they go for a leaf. Yeah. And you hate it. You're just full of hate. These poor people slaved over making this leaf. They worship that leaf. So Dojo Dust, eh? So much hate. So, uh, so much hate. Going to Telecon next year. The <laughs> schedule of 10 o'clock may be a little skewed for the upcoming episodes because I will not have a fiber internet connection. And I will have to physically give Loz a USB stick. Where the give Loz a USB stick with the episode on so he can upload it in 15 minutes where it takes me five hours. And I realized I might even be able to do it Monday morning. 
What do you mean? At work. <laughs> well, that's what I used to do. Yeah. I used to yeah. go to the university and upload it. Anyway, I think that's it for Dojo Dusting. We will be bringing guests back at some point. Just need to have some sense of normality back in my life. What? Jen. Moving on. So next we have the cards from last week. Are you ready? No. Okay. So the first card from last week, we asked a really random question. Are you British and do you like Little Duck's accent? Did this come back in the comments, by the way? A couple of people said about it. Cool. I think but we'll get to that. Right. 59 people responded. A little lower than I was hoping. But regardless... One person, one percent. Well, I just want to point out our comments were a bit low this week and views, but it's because let's be fair. I don't was like, oh, the channel's dying. I was like, hang on a minute. <laughs> We've just come through the several weeks of like Warframe creators quitting and Warframe's like at, at a very big lull point at the moment, isn't it? You, you just you just get that between patch funk. Wait, did again, people say that the channel's dying? No, but it, like, oh. no, is it? Is that, you, is that what people say? No, I thought no, you just I said. Don't say it. No, but you know, it's just when you see these things, like normally I get about 20-something comments to a read-through, and I think it was only about 12 last week. You're like, oh my god, no one's watching this. It's like, let's be fair. The channel, every everything Warframe-based will do better when there's Warframe content for people to enjoy. Yeah. Like, nobody, nobody's going to, it's like, oh, there's, no, there's nothing Warframe-based really to talk about. And until the next big thing hits, it's just, we're just in that, we're in that. Even until we get, like, a dev stream. Yeah, it's fair. Was there, was there, isn't that supposed to be a dev stream today? Or, or is it... No. Because Steve and Rebecca and Megan are still coming back from Japan. Japan. Right. How, how many weeks ago was the last dev stream? I, th- I don't know. Like, people, we were a month yet. I'm pretty sure we were at a month, right? Okay, let me look it up. I, I genuinely think since TedoCon, we've had one dev stream. Oh, okay. Let's test this. I know, I know we're supposed to be getting into comments, but that's just a, these are some important things. We just, let me just sit back. Do you, do you want to look that up while I do the talking? Oh, well, you cool. do the talking. Right, so 59 people responded. 1% said, I'm British and I like it. 10% said, I'm British and I hate it. 15% said, I'm not British and I hate it. And 72% said, I'm not British and I like it. So there is clearly a distinct, if you're not British... You typically like it, but if you are British, you hate it. So, I wish there was more people to actually do that. Maybe I'll take that to Twitter. I'm interested to take that to Twitter. I should, I should take do that. Take it to Twitter. Take it to Twitter. Right. Wow. You, I don't, what? So, dev streams we've had. 128 was on May 24th. Right. 129 was on July 26th. That's Two months later. So that was post Tenacon. That was the post Tenacon one. Fair right. enough, I suppose. And then after that, we've had one on August the 16th. Wow. So like the, yeah, the 26th one is just literally post Tenacon going back over the stuff. And then like August 16th, to be honest, maybe they could have, maybe they should have delayed the August 16th one by like a week or two. Cause well, like, maybe they should have just had some other filler stuff in. Yeah, you know, like they they've had it where Rebecca has devs from different departments, like you know, three D artists. Yeah, and that's stuff. true. Yeah, like, yeah. Just just do that, but have someone else be the host. Like I don't know why D Drew couldn't be the host if he wanted to. If uh, anyone wanted to, I don't know why that couldn't happen. But anyway, right. So I, do we need to go over this card, the first one? No, I, I I the only thing obviously we take the limited number of British people which we have of. Seven British people, obviously voting on it. Yeah. I didn't vote. Did you vote on it? No. No. So that would be two more. <laughs> yeah. So we on to eight people on I British and I hate it. It's quite interesting, yeah. Right. So, I mean, we don't even know if Scarlet voted, so. Right. The next card. By the way, I'm just, just going to say there's going to be no more weird, oh my God, Chrome has gone down because Xeno hasn't fixed that shortcut i actually fixed it before we started recording right before so the second card is should there be an invisible skin for fist weapons 66 i'd love to take this one to twitter this one would be well why don't you take it to twitter i was like i don't do twitter 
So yeah, 66. I, no, 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 no. I do, I do, I do very rarely use my Twitter now, but I, I, I'm, I don't, I don't use it for that. Okay. You want me to do it? If you want. Okay. I, I just, I really feel this is actually a really easy way for them to give everyone what they want. Yeah. 66, pe- really 66 people responded. 10% said no. 34% said that they didn't care. And 54% said yes. It's really interesting. Yeah. Well, no, actually, it's just most people, obviously. Uh, fist weapons, I would say, is not a weapon I use a lot, but I would use them more if we had this, to be honest. So I can understand there's a lot of people not caring, but th- the most of that is very positive, so that's pretty good. Next one. The third one is, would you like syndicate talent trees? Right. 63 people responded. Oh, is this one again? I don't remember. Oh, so we were talking about how to expand various different systems and one of them one of the ideas was giving talent trees to syndicates so maybe operator related or maybe warframe related i mean i can syndicates yeah to syndicates talent trees i mean i can go back and have a look like red veil yeah red veil would have a talent tree still so let's that's the brawling one ah this may have been related to the synthesis scanner widgets could be should be upgradable. I remember that, but I remember like the, the, to be honest. Uh, hopefully, because it's just you and me, I'll be a bit more focused. But like the last, I've been really tired the last like few weeks, and there is a point I think in the last three episodes where we just see me go like, <laughs> but you're trying to fall asleep. Okay. Like five minutes of this, then ah, oh, yep, yep, I'm right. I'm totally here. Or just like, uh, okay. so maybe I completely missed this one. Next, I, I know that we. We were trying to take because the synthesis scan and widget upgrade thing was only focusing on making improvements to the widgets that existed rather than expanding existing systems, which is like the sort of thing we like to do. Mm. Right. The fourth card we asked is Would you like all three idle on fight? Um, That should have been an all three idle on fight. I apologize. 61 people responded. 16% 16% said don't care, 40% said yes, and 42% said no. I didn't look at this before we actually did. That's actually kind of surprising to me. What do you think? I'm pretty shocked. Like, yeah, this would be, hey, want some content, which is probably quite easy for them to do and just chuck at you? No. Like, uh, the- what, what have you got to lose? They can just... Okay. Why, why? Oh, okay. Right, moving on. Then, no, to be honest, I'm I'm totally for this. I don't know why you wouldn't want this, but oh, maybe people would feel that you had to do it. I don't think I saw any responses about it. Now, that's the only thing I would yeah, wonder is if people thought they had to do it or, yeah. And then the last card we uh, had was, would you like a reset trio fight? So this was really hard to word. We have to come up with a way to... You know, limit the number of characters better. What? 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 This is this was the option where you can just stay in the planes and then kill all three, and then you don't have to leave the planes yeah. to reset them. Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> uh, is it is it basically loads of people out there are just killing the tridlons like super easily, and I'm just not understanding this, and this will allow them to get maybe an extra three tridlons dead in a night. To be honest, I think like we had to do it when it came up on Nightwave about three weeks ago, whatever it was. It was and I think we had somebody really nice who pretty much just wailed on it for us. But I don't kill like I couldn't kill multiples in a night. Maybe no, because we took we I'd... took a puppy with us. So someone that had never done them before. I thought. Had we? Yeah, I thought we took Thalian and Zakamas. Okay. Was it Zachamus? Who hadn't done it before? Zachamus, Zachamus, I thought. Well, Thalian must have just like been wasting it. Oh, he had like a sniper rifle, didn't he? Yeah, he was. Probably yeah, but you had an Opticore as well. Yeah, but I was tired. <laughs> I couldn't aim. Yeah. Sorry, of course. Like, I was aiming at this thing. Woo! Oh, it's gone. Oh, well, I, I missed So, <laughs> yeah. if, if you are some of the people that actually voted on these cards last week, or, you know, you even have your own opinion, please comment in the... Oh, well, please good. leave a comment below and explain to us why do you not want an all Eidolon fight and are happy to have a reset 
of, of the the cycle again because this is honestly baffling to us. Like, yeah. uh, just as I promised to everyone, I normally do every week. I will read through every comment that's put. Will get read. So you will, if you put a comment, most I, most videos I would say on YouTube, you kind of put your comment. You know that the content creator is never going to get around to reading it. We don't get a, a mad amount of comments. So even if we did get loads, I would put time effort in. I guarantee your comment will be read, unless it gets lost in some filter or something, uh, before we record the next episode. So you can you can always have that knowledge that you do. we 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 read every comment. Cool. Right, so that's it for the graphs. Shall mm. we move on to the Patreon questions? Sure, which I'll link down here. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five today from Nick Evans, Kale Thunderwing, and Zrugal. Nick Evans, if you had to improve the focus system, would you rather do a deep dive into it so that each school has access in some way to aspects of the others, such as earning energy or health regen, or would you rather we simply take what we have and refine it so it's even more polarized towards each school is themed on? Or what towards what each school is themed on? I think I'd rather have them like more niche than like keep them to have divided schools. So Vazarin would be the healing one, um Xenric would be the energy one, so on and so forth. I, I, yeah, I, totally. I, as soon as you've got the way bounds to make up the any gaps that a going to a specific tree doesn't have for like the basics. The way bounds give you the kind of the basic things, don't you? Like armor, health, regen, yeah. energy, you know? and then the, the the trees themselves give you the unique things for that tree. Unaru was supposed to be, or I always felt like it was supposed to be some sort of tanking tree. Never really achieves that. I don't get why D didn't think, hey, we could have the God, you could have had tank, healer, utility, like energy regen, whatever, DPS, and then maybe some sort of a hybrid. I don't know what the last tree would be. And they, well, could have, they could have been set roles, and we could have been the, starting to put like a group together the for, for operators. It'd be interesting. The hilarious thing was that the Vazarun description, like, mm. unless they've changed it, I, I just always remember it when... <coughs> Sorry. When the second dream first came out, it, it was talking about nullification of the opponents. Yeah, right. And was it about fucking healing? I'm like, what? I thought I would get my own nullifier bubble. Why yeah. do I? You know, so that 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 was a uh, an odd one to say the least. But mm. yeah, uh, the. Other point I want to highlight very briefly because I know lots could see I go down a tangent on this. World well, of Warcraft just tangents aren't going to eat too much of our time. World of Warcraft has had this trend over the ma last many expansions where they are making all the classes exceptionally similar. They all play the same, and everything that made a specific class unique removed, and it's dull. It is boring because you might as well play any character because they all play the damn same. It they they took it too far. So when it's a case of hey, we got these talent trees, we could actually start you know leaning towards shared things, common goals or whatever, or make them more personalized. I prefer the personalized option. I didn't realize that they'd even gone. That's a bit of a side thing. They gone. They have gone stone down this line so far now. When, when they had the Legion with the legendary weapons, yeah. they actually changed it so that certain classes that could have that could equip certain weapons since like vanilla, they couldn't do it anymore. So or, or you know, not since vanilla or some, some ways they they'd have it. So for instance, like monks that tank now can't yeah. have two fist weapons equipped. What? Because the, the tanking legendary was a stick, so you can't tank with two fist weapons anymore. It's like, and they didn't undo it after Legion was finished. It's, it's, there's so many little things like that, and it's just, it really annoys me. I totally didn't go farm the heirloom fist weapon and then get really annoyed when I could only equip one of them. It's little things like that. Wow. It's just, it's just so many. I know it's not a bit, it's, yeah, anyway, they've homogenized the hell out of the game. And to be honest, I, I see what you mean. If you go back to the focus system, I know there is lots of little intricacies of the focus system. I know, like, Unairu can produce these clever wisps that are one of the highest damage producing things in the trees. So, you, you know, that is one of the best what, DPS methods. It is a bit of support in there, but the trees don't feel. I don't know about you, but I just don't think the trees bring that much 
play you know, role-wise to the game. Yeah, they might affect how, what clever techniques you use to produce some crazy damage number. But apart from... Or, or instant reses, I guess, is the other thing. Or energy regen, I think, is one of the other trees. I don't know. That's right, but Yeah, but it doesn't really make a big effect on, on gameplay action. No, because... Like some of the effects that you have from the schools can be replaced with pizzas. Yeah. 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 So. All right, let's move on. Nick Evans also says, oh, sorry. Yeah. So I, I think definitely, so my, my final point out, sorry, Nick Evans, is I think I would love to see them go deeper into specifics for each tree. I think role based would actually be really interesting. But anyway, maybe some operator focused only gameplay. Ooh. Who knows? Maybe planes of the we'll see. Nick Evans also says, for laws. Ooh. In your medical opinion, okay, is fusing a human being with a living infestation strain to produce super soldiers a viable answer to the invasion by living AI super carriers? Do you concur with the opinions of one Ballas, or would you have him sued for malpractice? I think I think what you need to do is you need to go talk to Elon Musk because he he's going to achieve this for us. Definitely. Yep. Yep. Moving on. Also, Ballas did nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Changed my mind, but I did nothing wrong. <laughs> Moving on. Kale Thunderwing, what are your more in-depth thoughts on the expanded disruption mode? I personally like Grenier modes now far easier than dealing with the corpus. Screw the corpus, nullies can bite a big one. And with more game modes being touched up, do you think DE needs to revisit Rathum? It hasn't seen any adjustments for newer frames and balancing, and Hildren can cheese it solo. Hildren can cheese it, Celo. Sweet. I would like to see Rathum. Why? I don't know. Index. In fact, Index gets brought up in Nightwave, but Rathum doesn't. All right? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Index is brought up because it is a good source of credits. And it's like the, the Nightwave system is trying to highlight that to like newer players and things like that. Well, might be a little what, bit. What does Bethune get? Bethune gives you nothing. Like it used to be one of the better sources for Endo, mm. but there are as equivalent easier ways of farming Endo, and yeah, like arbitrations are quite a, a good way of getting Endo. You know, so. Well, apparently, if Hildren can cheese at Solo, maybe that's a good Endo farm, but. I think maybe it should be made into a mechanic of the the theme so that you know you, you appreciate how much your endo you're getting out. Just like with index, you appreciate how much credits you're getting out. Yep. It is a shame, seeing as it is a whole game mode and efforts put in with some unique voice lines. Basically the well apart from apart from the jokey dog days, it's main it's killer the therm's main actual development really. Kind of kind of abandoned, but okay. yeah. to answer the other part of the question mm -hmm. though. Well, Arkwing. Arkwing has been abandoned. Oh, sorry, yeah, other game modes. Yeah, okay, yeah. so what other game modes, yeah. But to, to talk about the deception, disruption, sorry, game mode on the other places, it's all right. Like, I struggle so hard with Little Duck, as previously pointed out many, many times. So... Like, I, I kind of wish that there was a shortcut that I could use to just mute the sound. But you know how, like, WoW has Control S and Control M, so I just kind of wish that there was an easy way to sound. Moving on. I would like to see more hijack missions. I would like to see... What was the one on the Corp on the Coover Fortress? Oh, the assault one. Assault. Now, assault has a lot of potential, especially going back to the Unreal tournament routes that D has, and they just haven't brought that forward. I just don't get it. The other one... It's so generic. The other one I would like is the Infested Salvage. You could turn it into yeah. Corpus Salvage or Grenier Salvage. doesn't really matter. I, I've heard some friends turn around and say like they hate the... The infested tile that has the verticality is the one with the huge holographic globe in the middle. But yeah. I never found any issue with those. And it was just something 
interesting and different to do. But people hated it. Yeah. Right, moving on. Zrugal says, you mentioned once or twice that you did Minecraft videos. Can those videos still be found? Talk afterwards. When are you going to do an episode using Face Rig? Do you want to do the next one? What? Me? What? When did I say I was going to use Face Rig? No, you, face you rig? didn't. Like, but they're asking, like, <coughs> from, you know, do you have Face Rig? I don't have Face Rig. Okay, well, I, c I could do the next one as Face Rig. Okay. You know what it is, right? Rig, I, I remember when you used to use Face Rig for your vlogs. Yeah. And then, and then you just gave up because, well, other things and going on stage was just pointless and I was just like, eh. Yeah. If, yeah. if people want, I'll, I'll do Face Rig for the next one. Uh, if you've got a preference on what character I do it as, put it in the you know, comments below. My inclination is to do the heavy. I'm a heavy guy. Ha ha ha. Sorry. I was just like, what? That's it for the um, Patreon comments. Okay, community responses. Cool. Right. Let's have a look. Test1049 said, One, I love moving. Two, shrooms. Okay. I don't know why. Maybe he is taunting me, or she. Why well, I do not like the mushrooms of any variety, for well, they feed my saprophytic digestion. No good. Xeno G, what would help this format is timestamps for, for the questions and improving your connection. Otherwise, I'm probs not going to watch a two and a half stream. I've got things to do. I don't remember the issues we had last week. Apart from it's, maybe you closed that. Yeah, thing. it's, that, it's that whenever it. I open up Chrome, it like my CPU just freaks the hell out, and because. God knows what web browsers do these days in order to open. But yeah, so that's that's like the only time that ever happens. <coughs> the timestamps for the questions, well, it was decided that those were going to get ditched. But, were they? I thought you were doing them. What? No, the, the um, questions are put at the very front of the video. Oh, there's no point putting the timestamp when we talk about the questions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, if people do want to bring those back, because I'm not sure if that's what they're asking for, but if that's what they're asking for, please put the description. Maybe we will bring them back if they were helpful people. If you have anything that you want to have added to the timestamps, yeah, just let us know. <sighs> put some comments in the comments! Sorry. My, my throat isn't dying, honest. Not painful at all. Right, moving on. Andrew Singleton, my suggestion on your smite arg augment idea goes a bit further than yours. Smite no longer does radiation damage, but instead smite gets a plus 100% to its range for the purposes of grabbing enemies, and as soon as every enemy within its range is clumped together, they'll all, they are all knocked down, and each one has a 25% chance to be disarmed. Mm. That's interesting. Mm. 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 Would they be able to pick yep. up their guns again? Oh, you don't what like a, a temporary disarm? Yeah. Hmm. Good work. Yokai one two three five. I'm a Brazilian, and for me, little duck duck's accent sounds like Loz's accent, but in a more arrogant tone. And Zeno should have put a I'm indifferent opinion. Okay. Um, I couldn't do that. We only had five options available. I wouldn't have been able to put I'm indifferent. Look, look metal thing. I'm, oh, I know, I'm not going to try and fake your accent, but my throat will just explode now. I've got to be fake. I've got to, yeah, no, no. Also, Loz's accent sounds nothing like Little Duck's accent. I don't know how you. Oh, people sound the same, it's true. <sighs> also, from Yokai 125, on the sacrifice of one of the Vitru Vitruvian dialogue, says the original prototype Warframes looked exactly like the regular ones, and the Levarian confirmed by showing. The regular gorse, and the first time he was deployed in battle, instead of showing his prime, also is odd that Orokin would make a prototype on the colours of the Orokin Empire and fully ornamented instead of making a basic one first. Some fair points in that. I've not looked at the what's it called? The variant. The variant? How do you get to it? You go into the market, you highlight the warframe you want to look at, and then it's in the bottom right hand corner. Ah. But sorry, I'm I don't follow the point. What? 
So we were saying that the Prime... We've always discussed that the Prime Warframe is, like, the first version of it, like, the superior one, and the ones of the mass-produced copies. Mm. But what this is saying is that Gauss's first deployment was a normal Gauss. 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 Mm. Gauss is normal Gauss, not Gauss Prime. So... But that's that only because sense. Gauss isn't Gauss Prime isn't in the game. I know, yeah, that's the thing. It's like is but but do you, unless do you retcon it later, this would imply that the primes are made later as like a souped up version, not the first version that others are copied from. But that's not what um, Excalibur Prime's codex entry says. Is it say who's first? Yeah. Huh. Conflict. Right, moving on. Dude, d- don't, don't get me wrong. Warframe's lore does have quite a few contradictions. It's totally not made up as they go along. Totally not. Tony Covenant says, where is the don't care on the little duck question? Sorry that we missed on that one. Well, I can't have British don't care. Uh, the other one. Not British don't care. I only have four options. I can't do that. Vavian C says, Zeno, did you do the new node on Lua for arbitrations? That was my mistake. I actually found that out very recently because I had a... It, I think... I was trying to remember where I actually had a bitch fit about it. And it must have been in 10 o'clock because I couldn't actually get to arbitrations. And I thought it was because of the new freaking missions from the Nightwave. And it turns out there was a... Deception mission that I was missing on, I think, Eris and... No, not Eris. Ceres and Lua. Hmm. And the last one is the Captain Pack. So, as much as it might be egregious to tell people to like the video, but I usually forget to do so, despite enjoying every episode of 10 o'clock. Thank you very much, the Captain Pack. So, and as we're going to do, please do remember... I don't know, like... I, I still feel it's it's... I hate when videos do it, but it does make it does actually make me like and subscribe and comment more on videos. So and click that bell. So please subscribe, click bell and like, and please comment because your comments will be read. I promise you. I yeah. Promise you this. I promise. We super appreciate it, and every subscription yeah. that we get takes us closer to that one thousand milestone. Meaning I'll open up that mail for Badger. I am genuinely wondering the reaction that I'm going to get. Do you need that for something? Don't you? A thousand subs. Yeah, to be able to actually link to uh, external, external resources, videos. which right. I would use to actually promote other people's content. Right, there we go. So please help us on that. I know that like some people are like, oh, please help us, uh, help us reach the subscriber goal by Christmas or something like that. No, we, we, we need it because we, we want functionality, please. Yeah. Please, please unlock functionality for I us. Don't, I, I genuinely don't know why it's tied into... What's the name of the dang thing? It's probably some clever thing to do with it prevents small it, it prevents you going and making channels that then can go and link externally that are just for the purposes let's say you, you find them occasionally if you try and like watch a movie on YouTube you see these videos they're like oh this totally is the movie and then you go to it and it's trying to link to a website saying go watch this go watch this movie it's on this other channel this other website so it stops people doing that and setting it a thousand stops them making bots stop yeah. making the accounts too sub to the account because a thousand is a fairly big number. Fair enough. I, I, I would guess. I think it's a fair guess. Right. Moving on. We done with the yep. comments? Yeah, that's it. Let's move on to the topics of this week. Right, so we're going to go to the topics. And I'm going to quickly reach over to my bag and grab my drink. Harshed. Oh, no. No. Connect. There we go. Oops. Off. So, topics for this week. Topic one: uh, Mother Mask from Nanak. That's the wrong episode. Right. Topic two: It didn't close Chrome. Topic two: Warframe Endgame Dungeon concept. And then topic three is: uh, I have maxed every focus school. But there are four nodes left I refuse to level because they get worse as you upgrade. Ooh. Um, on to topic one. This is a relatively short one. Anyone else still waiting on the knack? Uh, sorry, the cack. I apologize. Anyone else still waiting on the cack to sell the mother mask? It's still not there. 
when new items are normally released the new item pops up right away but this has been over two weeks and it still hasn't shown up has it been released yeah Mm. It, it, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was announced that it was released. You see, I think it would be smart of DE to just release it and not tell anyone. Let people discover things. But if, it, if it's on some sort of rotation and people have to wait for it to turn up, that's just painful. Release it, and then people will discover it. And be like, oh my god, this is amazing! It's it's so secret, it's so special, and you'll get buzz about it without having to do anything. Don't know. So, I've I've had a few people bring this up to me a few times now, and you know, it's still been a couple of weeks. It's still not out. Does this warrant? People getting bent out of shape over. It is a cosmetic. And so not massively game by affecting. This is true. However, seeing as there's not other content really come out to placate people, and by not putting it on, like, forcing it to appear on a quick rotation when it's new... It means people are going to keep checking for it, and it just seems frustrating at a time when you don't really want to be frustrating players. Okay, so the first question I have for you is how long... So, so this isn't directly relatable, but to me, I feel annoyed... So th this, I feel that people are getting annoyed at this is similar, not the same, similar to how I was annoyed at the fact that the Revenant quest, the Revenant patch finally landed and we had to wait two hours before we could even do it because of the whole day-night cycle. This it's similar, yeah. It's similar, right, but not the same. So, Mainly on a sense of scale. Huh? Mainly because of scale. Yeah. My question to you is even if they had secretly snuck it in, right? How frequently should it be on the rotation? How? I don't know Nat's rotation. Do you know how long? One day. One day. I think it should turn up once a week. So it so on average every fifth day. On average once every five days. Okay. So sometimes it'll be seven days, sometimes it'll be three days, but the average will be every fifth day. Right. I am relatively okay with that. I don't know if other people are. Do you think one day to refresh is too long or too short? No, one day, one day, what, to get one reset a day? Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. But the, that's why I said once every average of five days, because you don't, some people are like, oh, but I'm away for one day. If it was only 1.5 days or 2.5 days or two days. Yeah. And then it just gets silly and... The only comparison I can give is Anthem had like a, I think it was a two or three day, like cosmetic market swap around thing. Mm. And that was just boring as hell because you wanted to see things in there more often and you'd be going, right, new day, right, okay, then like two or three days of like the same things. And you didn't want anything anyway. So you're just like, eh, just boring. Uh, once a day is fine. It's exciting. You can check it. Maybe there'll be new things. But this is the thing is, it, this mask is just cosmetic, yeah? Yeah, it's for your operator. But, you know, as people say, fashion game is endgame. I don't want to deny people their opportunities to customize because this does mean a lot to people. 
I mean, I recently discovered that the DE changed the color scheme for the Provoc, the, the Grenier head shoulder piece. And this upset me greatly to the point of... I'm greatly vexed. I am greatly vexed and I have now changed my shoulder because that's how vexed I am. So... Yeah, I get this fashion it means a lot to people. I'm in agreement with you. It should be at least once every five days on average. Yeah. I'm thinking card-wise. Um, are you vexed that this hasn't come out yet? Yeah, go for it. Now, this isn't supposed to be Barrow Katia, you know, that has a large pool of items that you don't want to. But the thing is, a CAC only comes with like three or four items at a time. Exactly. Yeah. So, is what the, the better question is: Is waiting two weeks for a new cosmetic that has been promised to turn up too Can't long? Wait that long? Uh, no, 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 no. So the question to you. Okay. Right. Yeah, I think you had the, the vexed one was fine. I just meant like as the, as to summarize this topic. Is this too long? And I'm I'm on the opinion of yeah. Let people have their fun fashion frames they can use it. I don't get the point of making people wait for a cosmetic. It seems to be several cosmetics, and yeah. Do you so um do you have the the timer? Do you want to note down the time of the question? So I'm doing that now, am I? Yeah. Let's just just let's just give it a go. Um, we won't. I won't actually schedule it in on the cards, but we could at least do that. We well, see. I don't get the point of asking for the time it turns up because surely, if it, the only no, because want... if the question is vague and you want to listen to the top where the yeah, question but, but came I've, I've taken the time now, right? Yeah. But we're going to stop talking about it now. I suppose you could go backwards, or I could. I don't know. I I don't know, man. I don't know. It's like, right, here's the timestamp for this question. Now let's move on. It's like, that's not what a timestamp is supposed to do. So I don't know. And we, I don't, yeah, I didn't, Might as we well. don't, because we organically make the questions. I can't just be like, note this timestamp down. <laughs> Write this in your copy books now. Indeed. <laughs> right. Okay, so should we move on to the, oh no, you asked me, what, what were you asking me? Something yeah. about two weeks. So, so is two weeks too long? I think two weeks is too long. Yeah, I think it's too long. It's for a new, new cosmetic that has been told. If they, if they didn't, if they just secretly added this to the game without telling anyone, and it hadn't turned up, no one would complain. But because they said, hey, there's new cosmetics coming, check them on the knack, and then they're delaying them, it's like, hmm. But anyway, let's go to the replies, So, because I saw some interesting ones earlier. I think it should be there for the, uh, like the first weekend. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what it says in the first reply here. Check her sock. Shop. Sock. Check her shop every day. No Norg mask and mother's mask. But when Ticker's Venus Trap announcement, it came out right away. I think Nakak is bugged. That could be true. It might not actually be added to the pool or not actually be unlocked, but just there on her table, but not actually able to appear, which seems ridiculous. Venus Trap? I assume it's one of his cosmetics he sells for the ship. Fair enough. I'm blaming the three thump thumper floofs for this delay. Assuming it's not in any way bugged, then that means they are rotation. They're in a rotation for stock. But those three floofs are always in stock, taking up what was once five available slots and reducing it to only two. So we are waiting for one or both of the masks to appear in these two slots day only, which, as you might have guessed, is likely to take a long while to rotate through as it's available inventory. But yeah, so that's true. If, if some of the... It, why have a rotating inventory? Honestly, it it just it just feels weird. If you, if you're gonna have a rotate, this is the same thing that Anthem did, where they they had a tiny pool of cosmetic items and they started adding them as they came into rotation. It took a long time before they went back in. You know, they appear again. So instead, make a giant pile of cosmetics, whatever, to go on this character, and like I mean, literally like fifty, a hundred, and then just dump them all in the pool. Like just because it's it has like a few items there. Oh yes, we'll rotate it so that people want to come back. That's just annoying. I, I don't get the advantage. It's just annoying. It makes you. It's a, it's a cheap way of making people log in, 
and I don't like that. I concur. Especially when people aren't going to be able to get what they want, and then they just feel cheated and will stop playing. Yeah, and if they miss it because they were away for a weekend or something, it's like they might not turn up again for ages. I hate that kind of thing. Like how they literally just updated so the masks don't done don't clip with things, but no one's gotten them. Okay. Oh, D's response to the next one. The Norg mask and the Mother's mask are both part of Nakak's infantry rotation, but they aren't always available. The rotation is random, so we can't ex say exactly when they'll arrive, but they certainly will. Uh, just force it. I'm, I'm. I don't. I do not accept that reply. That is. This. That is literally. <laughs> What does that add but frustrating people who want a new cosmetic item and so they're going to have to log in every day and if they've been doing that for two weeks now and it's not turned up... <laughs> Better yet. It, 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 there's, no, there's not there's like this lot of content to play. This is literally giving, forcing people to log in. I, it, Be it just Better yet. Me. Better yet. What if it was Revenant's mask? Revenant's oh, yeah. mask didn't turn up on day one. And wasn't or day available. two, yeah, yeah, yeah. or for the next fourteen days. Now nah, you'd have fucking riots on your hand. Yeah. <laughs> if it if it was part of a big update, they did this. I would be less compl I'd, I'd complain less because you could always say like, "Oh well, you've logged in, but I'm still playing this other new fresh content. I'll do that." The the middling mid patches we got at the moment are not. They're not great. Let's be fair. And it's because it's it's not, it's not critical against it. This is this is how it always is. While we're waiting for the next proper mainline big chunky patch, to to then add something in which is just I don't, not I don't mean you know there's clickbait. This is like a login bait. Yeah, annoying. And to be honest, like I wouldn't be surprised if there is actually a bug that's completely overlooked, and. And, and made the actual percentage chance of in the random pool of the it should be like fifteen percent is actually like one point five percent that kind of thing. I I'd, I'd actually say something like I wouldn't be surprised if when people are checking things it's like is it in there? Yeah, it's in there. I can see it. Does it have a percentage chance of dropping? Yeah, it does. But the opportunity for it to drop is based on some random timestamp. And that hasn't been checked. Like, you know, you, t t technically, you could predict, like, with the technology, you can predict when this thing would drop, you know. But d is it checked? Anyway. Yeah. I'm reminded of when Vandal slash Wraith parts got added to invasions. And I think it took actual mon months for some parts to become available because of the RNG. True. Last one. Well... Decrease the Trinity mask chance. I've seen that mask five out of seven days the past week. I think, to be honest, add more of her items per day, I think, is yeah. the thing. And I think that's been pointed out by the person saying about the, the floofs. The floofs are always pinned in there, which is yeah. reducing the amount of slots from five to three. Uh, sorry, five to two. Yeah. But overall, I, I just think, as I said, this is login, login bait. And yeah. that is really quite bad at this point. Right. Moving on to the next one. Sure. Topic number two. Right. Warframe endgame dungeon concept. So this was a tweet directed at DE Scott, and he was going to review it. It was a Google Doc, and it was open to everyone. So we took a look. Right. Dungeons involve completing one zone after another, the amount of zones being left to the players. The general distinction of tiers should be short is 5 to 15 zones, medium is 15 to 25 zones, long is 25 to 35 zones, endless is 35, sorry, above 35 zones. These waves should, sorry, these waves would be more difficult than similar formats like Elite Sanctuary Onslaught, along with unique rewards to co completing each tier. The dungeons... <sighs> what? Just, just, just keep going. Keep going. Okay. The dungeons just uh, would just have... Same, they, they all say the same bloody things. Sorry, keep going. Okay. The dungeons would have six different variations, with each one associated to a syndicate and their unique encounters. 
What? Yep. Unique encounters could be enhanced, okay. infested from the Emissary Nightwave episode, enhanced amalgam units, special bosses that could feature some of the incoming Railjack, Lich mechanics, etc. Perrin, focus on single target damage with double boss spawns every six zones and the main objective would change among all game modes, including assassination. Steel Meridian, fighting Kuva troops with experimental cloning technology could be resilient against elemental damage, so you, you'd be required to focus on IPS mods. Red Veil, focused on stealth operations as well as buffs to infested that will um, make a more deadly threat to all unprepared Tedo. Cephalon Suda. Suda discovered a hidden corpus base in Jupiter's, uh, Jupiter's center um, that is part of Alidvid's shady alliance with the Lotus. Due to harsh conditions, the amalgam augmentations enemies oh, and amalgam augmentations, enemies would have adapted to corrosive radiation and heat. New Loka, these fanatics would send you against special infested units including um, Arlo's Zealots and other emissary forces. They would move 35% faster and deal increased gas damage. Arbiters of Hexis, the Arbiters would bring special units from other dungeons including the drone mechanics from arbitrations. This would be targeted at people seeking particularly hardcore content. Is your snickering the fact that because we have nothing... Uh, Arbiters to... don't have anything. Hey look, here's a chance that I... You cut Arbiters out massively. Basically... You just cut out massively. Oh, Arbiters what? don't have anything. Arbiters don't have anything. Oh look, we're adding in an example for individual unique things for every syndicate. And we're going down them, we're going down them. Arbiters. They have everyone else's stuff. Yep. Hey, hey, you know they still don't have a quest. You know they still don't. They're the, the least ex one of the least explained things in the game. They could do with something, you know, even a unit. Hey, let's have let's have like let's just have an arbiter. It's just this this unit, and it's like random. Has different weapons every time, and it's it's like a mini stalker fight. Yeah, has different weapons, and it and then it it, it Level spouts 500. like different lines at you at the end. Maybe based on and if you killed it, how you killed it. Maybe it's immune to certain types of things. You have to like this is a melee arbiter. This this is a shooting arbiter. You know, it, 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 could, anyway. it could take different lines. They're all mysterious and anyway, add to that. Anyway, anyway, no, anyway. no, no. They have everyone else's stuff because we can't be bothered to think of anything. Anyway, remedy the better. difficulty of good weapons with the chance of getting pieces of RNG-based unique weapons drop from uh, dropped by bosses. And either, and either an entirely unique or a slightly buffed version of an existing. Other awards should be shards of Umbra, rivens, uh, unique, the rewards? Remedy? unique weapons, mod, so unique weapon mods like syndicate oh, mods, come on. and large amounts of credits in Endo. The weapons should be tradable and should be assembled in Helminth's room to give players an incentive to use the room. Uncap Riven capacity and make them tradable for Vitus Essence. Uh, <laughs> units in the Arbiter's Dungeon. Are, are you done? Nope. Can, can, you you not, can you not make the lip-smacking sound? It's annoying. Stop it. It, uh, units in the Arbiter's Dungeon could see Grenier units using Corpus Tech and vice versa. Oh, we're so out of ideas for Arbiters, we're now gonna play Jigsaw! <laughs> right. Some dungeon zones could be have a guaranteed unique weapon bit, even if there is no boss. Some zones could have a terrain modifier forcing players to pick between potentially uh, what and be potentially separated from the rest of the team until the zone's completion scale the dungeon's difficulty according to the number of members in a squad like i'm i'm honestly i am not sure 
what this person is trying right. to achieve. Like, what, what is the problem that they're trying to solve? No, 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 right. You see, this is the thing. I have... I'm going to do videos. I, I, said, I told you this, I'm going to do videos. And the first one is going to be about Endgame. Because and, and, uh, I've been watching... What was that I started watching? Rahatelius's Rah videos? Yeah. And he does a lot on Endgame, and he does go around the topic quite well. He even also... I just want to, I want to go this out here. He has, like... He's made a soundtrack called, like, Endgame, based on, like, the concept of Endgame and things. And it's, it's actually a really cool soundtrack, and he's doing a second one, so I can't wait for that to come out. But at the same time, he started on me, and then I went to other YouTubers, and I've watched it. And I was starting to think, everyone wants this concept of Endgame. Like, oh, it's going to be amazing once Warframe has Endgame. And then I started thinking about other games. And, and none of them really have Endgame, so to speak, in some ways. And they all use something that Warframe doesn't. They all use resetting as a mechanic to make things work. So when it gets endgame, after this, they reset everything. Warframe doesn't have that. So, like, let's say in Borderlands 3, I know that came out, you keep getting new guns. Warframe, really, the gun, because it's so much more involved and the resetting is you reset the weapon, even that's been removed because you keep the thing of it. You, the, the mechanics of the gun are based on the mods you put in and the ribbon. So you don't even get, you can't just go give unique guns out because Warframe can't add 20 guns. 20 guns is a lot of effort for them to put in a balancing because you, you don't just take these things and throw them away. Sorry. There. You don't just, you don't just pick up guns to throw away. They're not steps of, of progressing power. They, they used to be a bit, but that, they, that's gone because of Rivens. So you, you, you become attached to weapons. You can't just add in random weapons with RNG based roles. It just, it would just break the whole system even more. It's, it's just insane. So, Everyone keeps saying all these very generic things, and I've just gone through that. I was just thinking through this. I, 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 maybe I should have stopped you every time. I can read that. And, and can't, I've got, the thing is, I want to make this video, and then my throat's dying, so I can't. I was, I was going to record it this weekend. Pick it up. It's like, okay. Everyone's always asking for these same things. Like, they complain about scaling, and then they say, oh, yeah, this thing will do more damage. What? You can't have both. What? Warframe already has. Uh, if, if you break down any of these suggestions they have for. End game Warframe. It's exactly what we have in the game now, just dressed up differently. Let's go through a few of these. So, Perrin, foc I don't get this one. Focus sorry, on before, single target. Before we do that, can I say something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. Yes, I'm going to get um, So, one point I have is that, and I picked this up from a, f a mutual friend of mine and Loz's, that uh, is the term false truth, right? End game. The concept of end game is a false truth, because Ooh. when you get to the quote unquote end game, there is still more shit to do, right? If yeah. you take a look at World of Warcraft, for example, right. or any MMO, you get to the end game. I'm using air quotes for you, loss, mm -hmm. and you are then doing raids to progress further. Well, how have you stopped? You haven't stopped. You're still getting gear to do other raids, right? right and, and just to point out, there's something about, like, in reality, you break down the raid. Each raid is pretty much the same thing. Yeah. And the rewards are the same things you get last time, just with some numbers played with. So you're doing the same thing and jumping through hoops, but, and they just invalidate your previous thing to make the next one better. Yeah. So that you want to go do it for the same buzz, the same, exactly the same reward. Not by invalidating only, everything you got before. Not, not only that, but then you go do well, the, the next expansion, right? Yeah, another or, invalidation. Yeah. yeah. You, you know, your, your, your end game stuff has, is like, now it's the, big, like the beginning of the next expansion. You know, congratulations. And then the, next, the next patch tier. And so it never, it's, 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 there's, there is a current end game, but there's never a end game. Like, I think Loz and I want to coin the, 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 the term top-level content. Is that what or we decided? High, or high-level content? or High-level level content, content. top-level content, whatever. The point is that you don't have the end of the game. Uh, you know, when... Yeah, you see, that's the thing. Because it's, because it's end game, you sh it is a shortening of end of the game content to yeah. end game. And because it has that end connotation with it, but it's not ever the end of the game. These are games of service. They might never end... I mean, the only time you would ever get "quote unquote" end game content is when the game is not getting any additional content. Right. Yes. So at that point, you would think that the developers have decided, right, this is the last tier of the game. This, this is it. That is the end of the game. Yeah. So, for instance, World of Warcraft Classic is never getting 
beyond well, they might make you servers for TBC that you can move off of, but this is going to have Naxxramas as the last raid tier. That will be the end game because yeah. there will no, there will never be a higher tier of that in the classic servers of WoW, and there's not there shouldn't be any more content after that. So that will be the end of the game. Right, but right now the top level content is what? <clears throat> oh, Molten Core and Nixia. There you go. Right. So yeah. So yeah, you're right. You may, yeah yeah yeah. Right. Even in that. You know, and, and, and that's 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 the 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 whole point, right? So people saying like end game anyway, right. right? yeah. So then so then let's try and let's just I know we're just doing World of Warcraft, but I, uh, this is one of like four I was gonna use in my video. Let's try and take that model and bring it to Warframe and say, Well, why can't we do that in Warframe? So why can't we have a World of Warcraft or an MMO style raiding model as end game? Because everyone wants end game so much in, in, in Warframe. Well, reward wise, they, again they've said it here, these unique rewards. We're gonna give it unique rewards. In Warframe, you never abandon the rewards you get, really, if you think about mm. it. Whereas in, in World of Warcraft, you get gear. I've got good gear. I killed the boss. I killed the dragon. I got this helmet. And then the next tier, I need a better helmet because there's a better helmet. And I get rid of the old helmet. But they're giving me the same thing, just with different stats. In Warframe, you never go... <laughs> and if they, You never go, I'm going to get rid of... You do a bit, I guess. There's a little bit with it, with the, the amount of scenes the game's been so long with mods. But you never go, I'm going to get rid of this mod and use this 5% better mod. Yeah, because you know, because it's incrementally, and I can only get this from the higher level content, and then again and again and again. You, you can't do that. So unless they start invalidating mods, and we start getting the same mod, like Serration Two, Serration Three, Serration Four, and they're like ten percent better each time. So you abandon the old Serration. Unless they move to that model, you can't do that in Warframe. So so incremental rewards and, and invalidation rewards can't work in Warframe. So you can't have that. So what, you what would, are you going to make people redo the content for? You'd Unless also, you have the game we already have. You'd also have to strip out any craftable content. So it would, it would become a proper looter shooter. You, you wouldn't be able to craft your weapons. You know, you could get a Stradivar Prime that has 95 damage on it, or you could have a Stradivar Prime that has 100 damage on it. You know, it's... Yeah. Um, that now, that is uh, of course the, the, the strand of our prime. I know is not a it's not a top tier weapon, is it? For me, it is. I like but, it. Well, okay. I mean, no, no. I, I mean, I mean, I bet you there's the people who can say this this weapon is the one hundred. Let's say the catch moon, right? Everyone oh, fucking yeah, knows catch the catch moon. Yeah. But 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 you can still do because of the way Warframe works. Like in 98 99 percent of the potential content of Warframe, um, with the strand of our prime. Because of ribbons, because of options. You, you never have to go, there's no way I can keep this gun going. In theory, you could stay with your beginning weapons throughout the entire time. Yeah. I mean, does your phone just deep ping? What's going on? What's going on? Where's... I don't ever have Siri on. Siri, are you on? Why are you... Hello? Hey, Siri. Why? Why are you on? Is that what I think? Why? You're getting turned off right now. <laughs> so it's, like, it's, like, it's like, hey, I, I saw you were talking about high-level weapons. What do you think about Destiny 2 high-level weapons? I was like... Jog on. <laughs> Jog on? Jog on, Siri. Fucking Destiny 2. Siri. What? Are you? No, go away. <sighs> so, <laughs> right. So one of the problems is that, yeah, as Lars and Two rightly pointed out, if you don't start invalidating existing equipment and things, and one of the big points of Warframe is the whole making old stuff viable, then like this, this stuff isn't going to happen. I would like to see. Yeah, you know, I do like the idea of having unique weapon mods, right? So there's a lot of space for progression here. You could make more than one unique mod. You could make it so that the, say the Burstin fires all three rounds uh, a go. So it tr kind of treats it like a mini shotgun, right? You could do, you could do all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff, right? Like... You know, maybe make something like the the Latron a um, an automatic. So not like a fast firing automatic, but like you know, just at least an automatic. Are you asking for mods which change the functionality of weapons? Yeah, well, give give you the option to. 
Yeah. That's interesting, yeah. You know, so because there are syndicates already have unique mods, like you could make the oh god, the burst and do gas damage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, is a, changing the functionality of, of the, the gun's actual weapon firing mechanics is a little bit more complex, I'd imagine, than that. Yeah. But it'd be interesting. But it, yeah, it would be interesting, and it has potential room for growth. Not unlimited room for growth, but at least some room for growth. I mean, you could make it so that some weapons that are hit scan, you know, they could be projectile based and do more damage, but you have to aim at the projectile. You could make it something like the Javlock. Right, you know, you have to charge up each shot, but each shot does more damage, and maybe each shot is slower. Right? You you could you could play with the functionality behind the weapon to make the weapon more interesting. But then you do come across this whole: mm, Are we going to start homogenizing the weapons? Yeah. So yeah, that, that, yeah, you lose some of the uniqueness of the weapons. Yeah. So there are options and things like this. Should we start going through what this person has proposed? Like, I'm honestly not 100% sure what they're talking about with this whole right, yeah. So thing. let's break down the concept now. So yeah, so let's go through it, through it, through it. So the first thing they start talking about is this dungeon... Maybe I'll bring up the actual topic as well and have a quick look at that. But let's have say, fun. so first what they say, dungeons involve going one zone after the other, amount of zones being left to players, the general distinction of tiers would be this. So this is until you finish the thing to get the reward. Now, I don't know if what a zone is. Is that like a tile? So this is basically just... Or it's a thing. It's a, it's a thing. So it's just like going through missions. This is this is what we do in the game anyway. This is already in the game, you know. So maybe yeah, you can have massively long missions that might be endless. Yeah, that's actually a cool idea. But still, you, you're just talking about enemy scaling. It's just like it's just a bigger map. That's all I've said there. Is just make map bigger. Okay, gameplay or, here. Or if it's or if it's or also, also sorry also so, so slightly also is it like elite sanctuary onslaught because that's this is just describing sanctuary onslaught where you just go through zones yeah gameplay here, have this gameplay here should be harder and faster than anything else in warframe for this chapter i will be explaining how to achieve this is a goal be a dungeon i have read that verbatim this dungeon has six variations each variation has four difficulties but they are more of a risk reward thing. So each dungeon can be short, medium, long, or infinite. Here are the lengths are. So first off, round of applause for Tobiah for translating this. <laughs> no word of a lie. I am reading this verbatim. So th there is no... Just a little Tobiah. <laughs> This is sterling work. Yeah. There, there is no clear definition of why... What does this bring that's different to what's in the game already? What the fuck is a Shard of Umbra? Oh, that's the thing no, that's that an Echo makes... of Umbra. I think that's what they mean. I would assume they just made the name wrong. Nope. Okay. So they, they, oh, now, um, sorry, I've gone into chapter two, which is the rewards. Now the next reward is only available through the infinite dungeons. My take on Echoes of Umbra, we present Shards of Umbra. You need 10 shards to form a Helminth Umbra strain, which would put the chair in use for those older players who already have all Warframes. This strain will buff a Warframe base stats and a player chosen ability to improve player agency or after all. It's an RPG, so there so here is our preferred drop table. This is not an RPG. Can, can I just sorry, I'm gonna read this so this strain will buff a Warframe's base stats and a player chosen ability to improve player agency after all. It's an RPG, so here's our preferred drop table. It, this was given to Scott. This was given to Scott. I, and don't get me wrong. I, hats, no, no, off no, to, gonna... hats off to people that actually do write their ideas down and because I don't want to, like, okay, no, yeah, yes, no, exactly. we are picking thing, this yeah. apart, right? We are picking this apart, and I don't want to poop our people because you should, you should never say, you should ne we don't want to mute people. People should still talk, but that, that means if you, you have the right to talk, but that means if you put it on the internet, you also have the right to, to be criticized because you're putting an opinion out there. 
Yep. You no. hear any of our ideas? Get you somebody think to proofread it. No? There's a problem. That's all not a sentence. Well, okay, but one, get it proofread. If you're going to give this a score, I mean, I can just glance and see there's editing errors in here. Secondly, it makes me think it's just like, it, there's nothing here. I, it, like, okay, I know the other thing I want to make think is maybe, perchance, another thing that might be bring up is that this English might not be this person's first language. I always try to remember that. So maybe that is fair enough. But again, the Warframe community is really nice. You probably could ask on Reddit, hey, I want to put this to the devs. Could people just have a bit of proofreading? I would really appreciate it. And then people probably find, or Twitter, and you can probably get some people to do it for you. Now, people will help out. Warframe community, really nice. So do that. So I can appreciate that maybe that's the case. Fair enough if that is. But it's like, it's like sometimes I just think, oh, I don't want to bother the devs. They're so hardworking. And then somebody just throws, don't look at my thing. Okay. Like, mm, let's, sorry. let's take what we have. Let's improve <laughs> upon it. Right. I do like the idea that effectively this is enhancing Sanctuary Onslaught. No, I don't I don't want sorry, I know that we, we're trying to be positive because we always we, we we always look at things in one view. But when it comes to endgame, I am sorry, I'm getting really critical and I want to stay critical on this because I don't okay. think this brings anything to the table. I really don't. I think people keep saying these things and they keep coming up with these ideas and they don't ever ask themselves has this actually brought anything new? Does this, what is, what would make this end game and how is it different to what we have already? And you'd be like, oh, but it has more zones. Well, we already have endless game content. Ah, oh, but the, the enemies are immune to these damages. Okay, so basically the enemy takes less damage. Yeah. Just put a handicap right, Okay, on. well, we have infinite scaling. I know people complain about the scaling, but we have scaling enemies that can go up to no matter what. So you can find that difficult enemy. They exist in the game already. They've existed from the start of the game with the endless game modes. I know you might be like, they're so extreme and they one-shot me. It's like, okay, yeah, but that, that's, a, that's a separate issue. They still are scaling to these, these, these high levels that this would be. I mean, it's just basically a little tweaking issue, the amount of damage output versus damage taken of the bullet sponginess or whatever. I don't, it's not bringing anything new here, right? Do you want to keep going through it? So we've done the areas. and Okay, so if you... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so one of the biggest problems for Warframe is you cannot have content that does not reward the player. You cannot right. have content. Reward. Huh? Okay, so we're focusing on the reward now. Yeah, the why do you do this? Okay. Yeah. yeah, so you do this because it rewards you something you want. It's mm. a Riven, a Umbral Former, a Aura Former, what have you. So right now, we're seeing footage of playing the new Arbitrations, right? The whole part two of the Arbitration rework. And... In all honesty, my opinion, was not impressed. Yes, it's nice to be rewarded the typical five-minute, five-way, five-whatever rotation. And it's nice to see that the... Gosh, the... The one that was always done. The excavation ones were brought down a peg because you have to complete a drill. You can't just mine 200... Majigas. You couldn't just fail slowly forwards to yes, reach 200. Yes, you have to complete them, right? Right. Which I think is better. Yeah? yeah more balance between the different game modes. Definitely. And challenge. Right. But the... The... It was still boring content to me, right? It's still slow and monotonous, right? I like... Elite Sanctuary Onslaught for the fast-paced attitude, and the whole point of doing it, the whole objective is just play game. Play game, go forward, right? Kill dudes fast possible. That's it. But the problem I have with arbitrations is that they are slow, and they utilize objectives that are... Secondary to gameplay. Hmm. Right? So. You sound like a duck sometimes. Do I? Rap. 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 Like that, that. You said like Mariah. Sorry. It's, I don't mean to be mean. I was just like. No, no, no. no I get it. I get it. I don't mean It's kind of cool. Right. So. <laughs> you're making me think about I'm not it. Ill. God damn you. <laughs> 
the point I was making. So yeah. we need to reward the players because players will not play the game just for the gameplay sake, right? I don't know why people don't. <laughs> I don't know why people don't like arbitrate. Sorry, elite sanctuary onslaught. But I know people don't like an elite sanctuary onslaught. I think people prefer Elite Sanctuary Onslaught over Arbitrations, but still, people don't like Elite Sanctuary Onslaught. And maybe it's just a simple case of Elite Sanctuary Onslaught has nothing to reward. Mm. But if you do not have a dwarven treasure trove of rewards in your quote-unquote endgame, people will not do it. Yes. Yeah. I don't think Warframe is set up to create that kind of reward. That that there really isn't. <sighs> How to say it? If you want to artificially lengthen the amount of time you play something, right? If you want War, uh, so World of Warcraft, like quote-unquote end game top level content you have to make the enemies insanely difficult <coughs> right something that requires eight people or more to fight against right eight people or more that the game's netcode cannot handle mm. then you have to limit the number of rewards so not everyone is going to get a reward, right? Considering yeah. the um, the lifespan of Warframe and introducing, yeah, you might not actually, you might do this, you might not actually get a reward. You know, people are going to be salty as fuck. Yeah, you know, not going to like that. That's one thing World of Warcraft has. You know, forty people doing a raid, only what one person. Well, you know this. Again, they homogenized the, the way loot's handed out. No, that's now, back then. We're talking class. Back then. Oh, yeah. So 40 people would, with uh, what? How many slots per character? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, 16, 18, maybe 19 slots per character that can be an epic or gear or could be put in. Uh, I'll put a 40 people with 19 slots, and a boss would probably drop between two and four items. Yeah. Per kill. Some of them may be completely useless to you. Yes. Or for other classes which you wouldn't even be able to have. Yeah. So the, if if people want endgame, this is what you're looking at. You know, you are looking at something that doesn't reward you for playing the game. And given uh, but, uh, but back to my point is that those those items, as we were saying earlier, they have the potential to be completely validated later with the next tier. Yep. So, so when the new end game, there's always new end game in theory because it keeps just coming out each new patch, each new expansion, which works exactly the same for things like Destiny Two, I think I'm not sure, or Diablo Three while it was getting content, or or like um, do you play any app games these days? I try not to. You try not to, but you know what I mean? That, that every week they're bringing out new heroes, and then there's a new boss that is difficult, yeah. more, is is, is there's a higher difficulty, which requires the newer hero, which does more damage, which heals better, which tanks better, which can absorb more damage, that invalidates your previous item that you got because they need this recurring system. It's a, it's a gameplay loop cycle. Warframe, people always ask for this, but in reality, people should be more appreciative that Warframe breaks that cycle. You get the gear, and your gear will last you. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't make you loop through, jump through the same hoops for the same things with different paint buffs on them. You, know, you, you have permanency in your items, and thus, if they give you any more rewards, that is giving you more permanency. Let's say that the arcanes, it, it, you know, there is different tiers of arcanes. Maybe they should, if, if they were they clever, what they could have done is they give out like the, the tier one of arcanes, which are kind of rubbish, and then they brought in the next raid, had the tier two of arcanes. That's how you would start creating an end game that everyone is more familiar with. But, but, you, but they didn't want to do that because then nothing works like a Warframe. So even the tier one arcanes, which is the most common, you know, some of them have niche uses, but they are the best at doing that niche use. You never invalidate them. You never go, oh, yeah, I need to use these arcanes to get the next set of arcanes. And then when I get those next set of arcanes, the first ones are useless. And that second set of arcanes, it's just helped me to get tier three arcanes. Yeah. And then arcanes as a system is added into the game. And they have to now 
that system has to be relied on. They can't just get rid of arcanes. So if they add in a new reward for a new end game system, that then has to be added in. It has to add to all the existing things we've got. And we've already got, I think it was three. Yeah, we've got three end game-ish systems added to the game, which add functionality or damage or whatever, which have to be supported. We've got arcanes, uh, which are which are optional as well. Arcanes, rivens, and the focus tree. Yeah. I, 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 I completely agree with you. Yeah. I... Right, sorry, let's go through it. So what did you think about... Let's go through the examples. The Syndicate-specific examples. I like the... Syn- no, I don't like necessarily like the examples because I can't truly follow them. They don't. I don't think they really bring that much to the... To, some of them are just flavor and fluff. They haven't really yeah. added anything to the game here. Yeah. So, I mean, I do like the idea of being stealthy for a mission. But that's just... A spy mission, or any mission, but just try and be stealthy. Yeah. Just, just go and stealth in this game, because the early Warframes were so to the extreme of their niches, like Trinity is just ridiculous at healing with an ability which just basically heals everything, almost. And you've got two early Warframes, which are just flat-out invisible, almost 100% of the time. Yeah, Stealth is, is, you know, there's no challenge in stealth. You just push a button, and as soon as you've got the power, you're invisible. Yeah, but I do like the idea. I like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, would that would that work? The thing is, if you, if you're making an end game, and this is the thing, do they would they have to put a lot of effort tailoring this stealth gameplay into with set pieces to get you through like a spy vault, or do you want some sort of generic, just just stealth through? Because one is going to take a lot of time and is more a carefully constructed thing, like a spy vault is. I mean, you could have like super spy vaults. Yeah, that's cool, but that's going to take them a lot of time to make, and then. Is that is that is that enjoyable or is that just basically what we've yeah, got no, in the I, game, just more okay. of? So I think we should. I, I've got a proposition, which is really simple, and then for what would be end game content, then maybe we should consider going over this. But in all honesty, I think th- this just sounds like ESO. Yes, already. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. Like maybe a oh, this is ESO, but with objectives. Well, I've <laughs> I've been asking for that, and people have been shitting on the idea. So you know, I personally think the top level content of Warframe is in the eight player trials we had, but the problem that the eight player trials had. Oz and I said this for years, was that there was no easy way to put a group together, right? If you could have matchmaking for putting a group together that maybe was a simp- an easier version of the trial just to get people playing the trials, that would be a huge step forward to then people forming groups to do the trials. Because it's all about engagement and getting the return yeah. on investment from DE. Because there's a lot of work for them to put in, and, and like a tiny percentage of the player base was doing it. Yeah. Not to not to obviously dismi- dismiss the a lot of people did put effort into the trial Warframe race school bus, bus. Uh, uh, race school bus. That people were trying to, but even then, I, I looked at that, and maybe it's because I'm just terrible and antisocial. But I looked at it and I was like, oh, oh, no. Like, I, it, sometimes I saw, like, oh, you must know what you're doing and all this other stuff. And I did know what I was doing on the first trial, but not the second one. And I was like, ah, I just felt it was, uh, yeah, wasn't it? And. But, that, but then there's, there are other issues with trials. One other thing is the main reward was the arcanes. Yep. But they weren't mandatory. If you really want people, if you, that's, that's, this is the, there is that, as we said earlier, with the, the making the easier level. I agree with you, that will get people in it, but sim like LFR4, wow. Yeah. But one of the things that made people do the raids in WoW is that is the op- that to get that gear, you need that gear to go continue into progress through the game as it is, you have to go get it. Warframe has all these optional additions. Arcanes are optional. You don't need them. They don't give a massive they do give some powers, but you know what I mean? They're not oh, I will now reach the new tier of power. That in comparison to a WoW raid, which when you get the new level of epics, that's the only place you can get that level of gear yeah. and actually move on to the next one. That's the other issue with it. 
that the E doesn't seem to want to commit to, you're going to have to do this content because we tell you to. They're always like, oh, no, you can just, you can trade for the Arcanes. You you can just, uh, you don't need them really. Just, you know, you can you can get by, you can get by. You know, that, that's the other issue. They don't commit to it. Yeah. So it's up to you. Do you want to continue? Uh, no, I was, let's skip through the, the last few bits. So those are a couple points I want to bring up. So one of their suggestions for is RNG-based weapon stats on weapons. What do you think of that? No, fuck no. No, one hundred percent no. Like, cool. yeah. I'm sorry. This this just leads down the route of that fucking flail from Diablo three, and I will cry. Like this 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 is not Warframe. This is Destiny two. This is uh, Borderlands three. This is Diablo three. This is a that is a looter shooter concept, not a craft the weapon you want concept. I am 100% against that. 100. Write that down. Percent. <laughs> In your copy books now. Uh, oh, that'll do. I can't remember. Yeah, so yeah, so Warframe, this is, as you say, it's, it's trying to apply other end games or other perceived end games for other games and slap it onto Warframe when Warframe doesn't work like that and people don't seem to appreciate it. And, and to be honest, these random stats, we already have that with Rivens. This is just another level of RNG on top of Rivens. But just affecting the base stats of a gun. Why? Yeah. RNG on top of RNG for my RNG, so I have my RNG gun on Riven. Why? I mean, like... <laughs> If, Might as well just let people equip two Rivens as they can have double the RNG. That, 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 that's, that's the same thing. I mean, that would, in a sense, be like, oh, you, you, want, um, you want to be able to do this higher level content? Well, you effectively need a gun that has uh, 12. I don't know how many Riven, that's how many mod slots they have. Do they have five mod slots? Six, uh, 12 mods? Sorry. Sorry. Eight. Is it eight? Yeah. I thought Warframes went down to eight, whereas weapons were on ten. Or is it sixteen? I can't remember. <laughs> sixteen. Twelve. Sorry, twelve. Twelve. Hang on. <laughs> when your brain um, gives up, like math. Math hard, dude. Eight. Say okay, fine. So, like, maybe it's a case of in order to do this, my doubt life. <laughs> <laughs> maybe in order to actually fight in this this higher level content you need the we a weapon that has 12 mod slots right you need to up the performance yeah yeah you're exactly right that that's what that is that is the way to do it so that you've got continually upgrading power so you could up uh, you get to unlock the second tier of weapons which are go get all your weapons again that now have nine mod slots that is technically a better weapon with a stat increase. Then, right, using those nine tier we uh, nine mod slots, you're gonna have to work on the next level of difficulty to get the ten mod slot weapon. That's how it would have to work. You're totally right. Yeah, it's, it's uh, honestly, it's the only way because yeah, it's just you need the damage throughput or whatever. It doesn't matter. You no, know, you need like increases of a, a power to play a thing. Yeah, you know, it, on a tierable system like uh, you know world of warcraft has item levels you are or in fact destiny does it as well for uh, basically light levels or power levels you are 400 you can't do this content you need to get to 500 yeah it's just an arbitrary number that's the thing with destiny 2 though the, because the whole game is working on the system you've got a player who's been playing for 50 hours and a new player in the same zone they will take roughly the same amount of shots to kill a mob the only dish, yeah. Well, well yeah, where's the, the, the that that's just artificial bollock, bollocks. Yeah, yeah. But the the problem for Warframe though is the fact that if you start going like, ah, oh, you know, I'm I'm a uh, a ultimate rank two Oberon. I have sixteen mod slots. You know, <laughs> you 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 could probably just smite a level one hundred enemy. At that point, like you will be so damn powerful, so much of the game will be completely superfluous to you, right? Then what do you do? 
You have well, just... Well, then we come up with the end end game for this new power you've no, acquired. I think, I think you need to have the end mid game. Because the mid... <laughs> yeah. Well, the mid game will be completely superfluous. The way World of Warcraft gets around it is by giving you a whole new island to go with and explore. level difficulty mobs, which, yeah. Yeah. It's like, so... This, this is... So goddamn difficult. Right, so that's that's sort of talk about the weapons, about random things. And then there's, they also say about the special helmet they suggest. Uh, helmet strain something. And, oh yeah, no, buff, I, I would like to see the more base stuff. stats of your Warframe. And, oh, God, I, just, I, just, I don't get the point of that. It's just yeah, and a player chosen ability to improve player agency. After all, what what do you mean by that? Is that one of my Warframe abilities, or I get to choose ability for my helmet? Do you know how do I get to design it? I, it's, it's like what is no, this? This this makes me think like, oh, you get to buff your power strength, and you get to buff oh. world on fire. Yeah, I know, right? You can't you can't no. You're better off giving more mod slots. This is yeah, yeah. There's ways you want. One. So the next they say, oh, use, using units in the arbs dungeon, you can see grenade units using corpus tech and vice versa. Technically, we actually had that oh, at the start corruption. of the game, where you've got corrupted mods, which yeah. have the wrong weapon, which I think was actually a bug or an error, and they didn't really realize it back then, or they didn't really decide who guns were whose, and it's like, what does that add to the game? Not much. I don't know, then, have, you done a, have you ever fought like a, a corrupted crewman with a, sh uh, was, was it the boar shotgun or something? Those mm -hmm. dudes murderize. Right, but you, yeah, okay, fair enough. If it's high damage, or whatever. But you can achieve. There's, there's, you can just bring in more. There's so many weapons that the enemies don't use, which would be yeah. a better place to go first. I'd love to see a. I don't know. Let, let's say a heavy gunner. Oh, something else I was going to. Oh, yeah, sorry. A nuke uh, oh, heavy gunner with. Oh, a nuke. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Uncap the Riven capacity and make them tradable for vit Vitus Essence. Not possible, and completely dumb. Now, yeah. Riven capacity is an issue, but you want more Riven. So I got billions of Rivens. Well, there, it, there's database issues with that, and it oh, just is, destroy the market. You destroy the market as well, yeah. And then now there is one thing in here which I ah some zones could have a terrain modifier forcing players to pick between and be potentially separated from the rest of the team until the zone's completion. Right, we have a good idea in here. We have waded through the mud and we have found the gem. This is good. I like this. Why, you know, so this, if it, the game force, it's like it has two routes and there's A team and B team and A team has to do something before B team progress. Yeah. There we go. But this is, to do this as end game doesn't really work. It's more of a scripted style thing because you have to decide what is A and B team doing. Like in the trial, you had one team would defend some consoles and the B team would carry a bomb to yep. achieve it. It was a bit, again, I swear that. Yeah, that was, was more first, artificial then. Yeah, it, it, they were still learning. I, I never felt they really... I feel that DE are only really getting to grips with boss fights now after, what, six years? Exploiter! The boss, yeah, exactly. So I, I think they needed more time before they kind of got it. I mean, just having two routes with, with doors opening is a good start. You know, that, that would be interesting. But, you know, just do that. But so still, there, there is a cool thing. So you, you're, you're basically forcing squads to work in smaller teams cooperatively to do achieve objectives. There is a good idea. Maybe a whole game mode designed around that concept would be interesting. Come up with ideas for that. Instead, they just, it's just a throwaway line at the end, which is the, the only cool, unique thing in here. Yeah. And then last bit here. Scale the dungeon's difficulty according to the number of members in the squad. But well, that's always doesn't, been a thing. Doesn't the game do that by default? Yeah, the game does that by default. Right. Okay, so we've gone through all the ideas. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I, I think maybe we should just have a rant at some point about... Or maybe we should do a thing where we... If people are interested, we'll do it. Where we critique people's endgame concepts. Because I just don't... This is one of the things that everyone asks for. End, uh, Warframe needs endgame. Oh, when, when Warframe gets its endgame, it'll be amazing. Oh, what is it? What, what endgame are we working towards? And it's like... That, what... What it, what is it more than just basically the same? Because this is just basically more of the same with crazy loot rewards because they have to come up with something for you to get and then no actual substance of what they want you to do. That's not just more of the same. Scaling enemies, we have that. Endless missions, we have that. Dip more long, le more length of missions, they're endless already. What do you want? Oh, they have different affixes or prefixes that mean they take less damage. What, like scaling mobs already do? It <laughs> 
I'm thinking of asking the, the question, yeah. should top level content be a focus for DE? Oh no! Oh, sorry. I yeah. For all my ranting, for all my ranting, am I complaining about this? I do agree with these people on the base thing here. That yes, this is something that they need to work on. That is great that they're trying to address the issue. It's great, but I just feel they're not they missed getting grips with it because they're always using this, this this archaic term of end game. So they they lock onto that, and then they use concepts from other games, and it just doesn't Could work we, with Warframe. Should, are you good with that question? Yeah, that's good. You're really good. Really good on that. Do you want me to write down the time for yep. some real weird reason? Even though, cool. well, actually, you know, they're, 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 if, if that person is at this point, the, the most of the questions work to a topic. So, and we always put the timestamps for the topic. So you could just. I don't want to put like I don't want to reduce the number of characters I have for the questions already. No, I meant I meant that if you want to follow on a question, just click the topic. Watch yeah. through that topic. Like, oh, well, what's this question about? Oh, look, topic two. I'll go watch topic two. Yeah. And the first timestamp is always the topic. So if you want to know yeah, what topic cool, one, well. two, and three is, you can get them from there. So I mean, it's a bit convoluted. I know, man. Let's see what happens. Very yeah. people will be like, I don't care about this stuff. Take it out. Right. Uh, replies? Yeah. Okay. Just a random tenno here. Don't want to be rude, but I don't think you understand the problems of long term game development very well. And friendly, and friendly advice don't hope for uncapped drivens. Well, that person's a <laughs> very to the point. And then the other reply is Scott saying, okay. Yep. Literally, there, there were only two replies to this. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm going to sit down and, and script. I have started scripting it. And I'm just going to, but I just, I, in fact, I've, it's a whole sit. In my opinion, I'll say it how I can do it. Do, do, have you ever heard hierarchy of needs? Oh, oh, sh I've Shazbot laws. Hold on. Um,. Jazzbot. Yeah, the the individual has actually released a more up to date, cleaner version of the document. I really just found it. Similar oh. to Sanctuary Onslaught, the dungeons involve completing one zone after another. The amount of zones would be left to the player's decision. So. Uh, to please the short raid enthusiasts, as well as the extended dungeon. Do you want to link it to me? These. I think we have still hit the nail on the head, though. Well, you, yeah. uh, these could be divided up into four tiers. Da, 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 da. I don't know why you would actually put a range. Well, well done. So, so all my complaints and criticisms, well done. It looks like they have gotten someone to proofread this. They've done a bigger job. Good job. But we still get... And I, can, I can glance at this, and I already see a sentence which makes me think how people always do this. In the dungeon section, right? it says about it, right? I'll read this to you. The game, the gla yeah, yeah. I'm, why am I doing this one? Ill. The gameplay would have to be more challenging than anything else available in Warframe to give player an incentive to play this game mode, as well as add unique rewards to its tiers completion. No, the the rewards are the incentive, not the difference. Oh, I know, but it's just it's so generic. This will be more challenging. And how? In what way? What yeah. does that mean? What does more challenging mean in yeah. Warframe? Yeah. Does that mean unique mechanics? Does that mean you up the numbers? Well, we already have these things. I... And people still don't do it. No, yeah, exactly. So we already have arbitrations and sanctuary onslaught, which basically fulfill those criteria just there. And yet people aren't wanting to do them endlessly. Yep. Because D, maybe it's because the rewards aren't that interesting. And, you know, but how do you come up with a reward that people play continuously every day that doesn't make everything else redundant or becomes... Yeah, you know, onto a scaling system. It's it. This is why DE were like must have struggled to come up with the idea of the echoes of Umbra, and then people looked at it and went, "I don't want that." And it's like, yeah, that's the problem with rewards in in Warframe. You can't just give people magical damage machines. It's like then the, the whole scaling goes up. But you, but you can in Borderlands Three, for instance, because it's a set environment that doesn't have to go forever, and they'll eventually they can just give you whatever guns they want because they'll invalidate them when they come up with the patches later. But the yeah. season pass. So they can just throw whatever guns at you. Yeah, 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 we'll just break the game with these guns. This is the best gun. You just do this and you make bajillions of damage. Don't worry, though. We'll basically put super hard enemies in the next expansion because it's on a scaling system that invalidates all that previous gear and we put new guns in. But Warframe doesn't work like that. Right. Uh, I've also <laughs> Sorry, put I'm, a link. I'm going I've also put a link for the 
revised version of this document. Why didn't they just update the document? I'm so confused. They've put I put a link in the revised la 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 in for the topics in the description, so you can actually see the revised version of this document. Um, so sorry we didn't find this, but I think the core stuff is pretty much identical. I think I think this this they have done an overpass. The grammar is a lot better. All the errors are gone. It is much clearer. This I wish we saw this one first. So we're working off the original. We, we just have to say. I mean, to be honest, we could have done this before this came out, and our points would have stood. So we didn't see yeah. this had come out. But still, I'm just I'm just have a click through as well. This is better and clearer, but it 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 it's shorter. <laughs> so it it is just I think it's just more streamlined. Streamlined. I don't think there's really much more here concept wise. Right. Okay. So, should we? See, okay. So here, I, I, my last, my last. Sorry, I do want to give a positive for this, and I see it in the notes at the end. So I'm going to read this out. This is my final point, and we move on because I know I'm rambling, and I apologise to everyone. But anyway, here. So notes at the end here. To digital screen extremes, or whoever is reading this, I just wanted to share this dungeon concept a friend and I developed. This is the project we're both passionate about. We feel upset after we reach that point in the game where we've experienced most warframes and weapons as well as game modes. We would like this to be implemented so that we can enjoy the game further. Thank you for your time today. Please keep an open mind to our suggestion. Now, you see, I always feel, I don't want to point out, they are coming from a great place. They love the game. You see, if they didn't care, they wouldn't be putting the effort into this. And yeah. I do think that's great, but I just think it's misguided. They, they want to enjoy the game more, and they're looking at it, and they're trying to think, and I think most people do. They take other games, they go, oh, yeah, we could have this in Warframe, and not really appreciating what it is you would actually want and need. So they are coming from a great place. I, I, I know I'm negative. I, I, I'm trying to justify myself here. I know I'm really negative, but they are coming from a great place, and it's lovely to see the effort they've gone in here, but at the same time, it's so misguided. I'm just... <sighs> you see what I mean? I don't... Yeah. It's difficult. Please crucify me in the comments. Yeah. I, I, tell me how I'm wrong, please. Should we move on? Yes. Yes. Because I'm going around circles because I'm ill. Right. Topic three. I'm coherent today. Right. Yeah. Sorry, that one took so long. I, I, yeah. Please, please feedback and comments on that one. I, I, I have not. maxed every score, focus score, but there are four nodes left I refuse to level because they get worse as you upgrade them. I refuse to level the final four nodes because they get worse as you level them. Madurai, Void Radiance increases its cost from 25 to 50 energy from a quarter to half of your default reserve. Its blind doesn't even open victims to finishers. From what I can tell, a lot of people would actually prefer that. Naramon, Void Stalker leveling, it improves buff crit value and duration, but raises the mana cost while sitting in the Void Crouch from 1 to 4 energy per second. While the effect is neat, the cost is preventative and gets in the way of the next node on the branch, which conversely goes from 2 energy to one energy per second. Void Shadow and Chrysalis shows, sorry, show uses Crouch Shadow use. Oh my god, my brain. Like, I don't know if I've just hit tired or what. Shadow uses Crouch to create a bubble that renders allies invisible. Chrysalis giving these allies a damage reduction buff, but leaving increases the bubble radius at the cost of more energy leveling increases. Da, da, da. In all my time, the only use I could find sorry, I have found for this spell is protecting my AF Cali sorry, yeah, my AF caliber Umbra in index. And naturally, since I'm only protecting him alone, the radius improvement does nothing for me while mana cost is nerf. Mana cost nerf would be a kick in the balls. Upgrading abilities shouldn't hamper the mana cost since with how interconnected all void abilities are, you are not just making the spell tied to that 
node more expensive but others as well <coughs> other nodes either stay the same or get cheaper as you level them the four nodes that are anomalies should be changed to keep their cost the same or start at max cost and be improved to be cheaper as you level them I don't even know who Void, Shadow, and Chrysalis belongs to. I kind of feel... I swear Void, Shadow is um, Vazarin. I'm, I, oh, I'm, I don't even know on this. I think they have highlighted some, some interesting points here. Why can't we downrank these abilities? Yeah, that's the point. Yeah, why can't... It, it wouldn't be hard to do. All you'd have to do is click the ability in the thing you activate it at max the rank then hold a different button and click it i mean I, i'd say for pc obviously you then hold control and click it and then you go down to minimum rank Naru. and it turns off and then when you click it again you go up to maximum rank. but you know that way you can you can choose what level of that you want i want this at three i want this at four i want this maxed and currently as soon as you max it you just click it on and off and it's maxed yeah yeah so th this is the issue I think it's really interesting all the things they put out. But so focus, as I was saying earlier, th this is part of the problem with it not being a mandatory system. I, I'm lazy. I have barely done. I've done base, most of Unairu. I need to go do my way bounds from other ones. I haven't. I need to get around to doing it. I have not been hampered. There's not any content in the game that I'm not able to access because I don't have all the way bounds unlocked. Or I don't even have other trees unlocked. I've just done Unairu. I'm Unairu. So the game does not ever say you must go do this. How many changes do we see to the, the bits of the focus system in patched notes and changes? None. None. Where's the weekly, oh, we're, in, we're buffing this by 5%, we're nerfing this. You know, here's the little tweaks, little changes. Do we ever get that for the focus system? No, because I don't think the player base cares about the focus system. Well, player base is one issue, but like, the, because it's because it's not a mandatory system and players aren't actually using it to achieve anything or access content d doesn't ever seem to do tweaks and changes and balance paths. i i, I, I let, let, let's 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 uh, <laughs> let's take our inner gamma and, and say how amazing remnant is <laughs> but remnant obviously you've got the guns and i don't know if you saw in the patch notes all the, some of the guns got tweaks in the last patch because yeah. because the guns are what you're using to play the game. So this ability got nerfed, this this got changed, this weapon was a bit underpowered, so we increased the secondary fire of this, because they need that, you know, they need to tweak and change this, make them all interesting and, and viable. The focus system, added in, not changed for years, updated, forgotten about. There, there's clearly no indication that players have to make use of it, or that it's some system that needs to evolve. It's just done, you know. Now, until players need to use the system and access it and get it maxed to achieve something, and then, then oh, we need to work on some balancing with it, nothing will change. It's, it's completely but, almost useless and, and not needed. But the problem is that Warframe isn't a game built on challenge. It's built on hordes of dudes to slaughter. Right, exactly. But that's the problem. Why didn't we get operator game modes or part of missions. Why, like, that, like that example, the really good example with the separating they were saying earlier. Why isn't there part of it where you, you separate a four-man team, two have to go down the A route, two go down the B route, and then there's sections where the A team now must use their operators only to fight while B team are using their warframes, and it swaps around. So you have to make sure your operator is working on it. Because that's, that's the thing in RPGs. You have to spend all your time upgrading your gear so your characters as powered up as possible to fight the big boss, the big dragon. We don't have to ever do that with operators. <laughs> you don't have to use their quirks, their talents, their trees. Like, you know, the, the first topic was, oh, that was on the questions and the, the, the Patreon questions. We're saying, should we make the trees more interesting? Well, yes, but, or, or more pushed down to the root. Yeah, because you never use them. Do you know that my Unairu, I've got the Unairu Wisp talent. That means sometimes when I void dash, I think through enemies, there'll be a Wisp appears that if you pick it up, you'll get a damage buff. Cool. Do you look out for that wisp? No. Why not? My whole know. tree is based on producing these wisps. I didn't even know it was there. Exactly. 
the game so you think about it's an rpg where you're given new abilities you make use of the new ability i've got to level 40 i've unlocked this new ability that makes me attack faster or something whereas the focus trees just give you all these weird whatevers and you you still just shoot things with the amp poo, 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 poo. i think one of the biggest problems for the focus tree is that poo, 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 poo. it's too detached from the regular gameplay yeah right why don't we have like a second set of abilities that you know we can activate and change something for our warframe yeah you know, why can't we yeah it's it's like yeah we want operator based combat and things like that i'm pretty sure like we did we did a card of this not so long ago i can't remember i think people said that they didn't want it the operator nightwave stuff you know people want to play their empowered warframe so unless our operators are empowering the warframes then what are we gaining from the focus system nothing no no you know so my personal opinion is that the focus system should improve the performance of your Warframe because that's what people but, care about. Well, only because that's how the game is set up. To care about your Warframe. It never, it never makes you want to care about your operator. So here's, not, here's, a, here's not, a bit of an idea. I'll take a, a, a game that I know you love and a boss from World of Warcraft okay. and combine them to make operators an interesting game mode so, or gameplay style. So the way it works is your Warframes are fighting some Grenier, right? But there's a new, and because I know you want a new faction added to the game, and I'm going to call them Void Demons, right? So, Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've got him, I've got him now. Got my attention. I've, got him. I've got his attention. No, got sorry, you heard that. There's, so, there's two versions what, of the world. No, what, wait, there's what's the, normal, the meme? What's oh. the meme? Um, you had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. Oh, I see. I thought you were going to be that uh, McMahon wrestling one where you were like, oh, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> ah! <laughs> legacy game's all over. Ah! <laughs> anyway, so you know, there's two versions of the world. There's the normal world, and then the, then the soul version of the world, but the dead version. Yeah, the astral plane. Yeah, the astral plane, and your character can move between them. Yeah, and the the, the, the topography of the world changes, and the mobs you find there. Now, yeah. what happens if you have that normal game? Imagine normal warframe. You're fighting Grenier in a galleon. At the same time, these Grenier are being controlled by the void demons, so that. Your Warframes are fighting the Grenier, but sometimes you'll see Invincible Grenier and Grenier getting buffed and, and weird things happening. And to def so you, you probably can't even defeat the Grenier, or they'll be really powerful. You fight them only at level. So you have to swap to Operator mode and shift into the Void. And then in the Void, you, don't, you can't fight any of the Grenier, but you see the Void Demons. And you have to use your Operator to kill the Void Demons that are then buffing the Grenier. So sometimes you're going to be like, oh, there's no Void okay. Demons, right, we're just focusing on Grenier. Other times, oh, it's a different Void Demons, get, so we come up to go kill that. I get what you're saying. Is this not too dissimilar from a... And I, I know it's different, but not too dissimilar yeah, from the Kuva Guardians, where you have to use your right, operator... No, but, hold on. But, yeah. Right, you have to use your operator to make them vulnerable. And but you don't be, anymore. Yeah, you do. I don't think you do anymore. You do. They changed it. Didn't they change it? No, no, no. no. You could use either your void dash or your void push. Right, yeah. To... So basically, that, that actually was them pushing towards. This is that, that was like the very early levels of that. Yeah. So they were like making And then instead of going further down that line, but they just made it that you have to hit them with anything. From your, you just pop out. Blah, isn't, blah, blah, blah. isn't also the whole Eidolon situation close to what you're saying? You need your operator to remove the Eidolon shields. Right, but, but as I was saying, oh, maybe I didn't mention the topography and things, because you know, you've got the Void Dash. If, if you had to, you see, because it's all in one world, this is why I wanted a two-world situation here, you're still connected to your Warframe, really, and you never feel distant from it. You never really feel like it's separate. I know what you mean, yeah, it's like, but it's just, it's just the equivalent of having a different gun in that case. Whereas I mean that when you're in that, that like in Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver, that when you're in the Void World, everything changes. The world changes. You you can use you can use some abilities. You can use different things. You know the gameplay has changed yeah. a bit, and it, it does feel separate from the world. You know it, you are you can't even see the enemies of the normal world yeah, yeah. in that world. 
They don't. They can't, and they can't interact with you. Whereas the Kuva Guardian, you've still got to fight normal enemies. Yeah. They still can't interact with you. Okay. When you fight in the Eidolon, it's still the same mob. <laughs> you know, and and by having that separation of these can this, you know, you could still. It it just makes it more fleshed out rather than it at the moment where it's the homogenized together thing where it, it's like you've got the warframe gameplay and then there's like the the operated gameplay is just like a little addition instead of taking i, this, I get where you're coming from thing. i get you where you're coming from my concern and maybe i'll use this argument incorrectly my concern is it's like hey look here's arcwing right here's space-based combat you start again from scratch and you can you know build your space combat so on and so forth expecting people to jump on it and then they would actually advance it further and further it was the minimum viable product but not the one that the client sorry the, the customer would be satisfied my concern is that and as such, the consumer, us, the customer, don't do Arcwing. Because they, you know, they have the option to stay away from it. Would this not then lead to an issue where the consumer can just go, well, I just won't do that content because I don't like that. I know right. people that but, don't do... But that that's because Arcwing is exactly like I've said for the Arcanes, for the Focus Tree, and for... What was the third thing? Rivens. Well, Rivens, maybe not so much. They're, they're a bit easier to do. Arcwing is another system where it is completely optional. You don't ever have to engage with it if you don't want to. So this system that you're proposing... Yes. ...will you literally have to, have to be put everywhere. Well, it's like the Kuva Guardian, like you say. Yeah, I just looked it up. Yeah, you can use two abilities now, but you yeah. have to. You, you have to get into your operator to do it. You have to engage yeah. with operator mode. But then that that all you've got is void dash, void blast, your amp, and invisibility. Oh, sorry, no, yeah, void blast, void dash, and hand laser. That's it, right? And the focus tree doesn't give you new abilities, whereas this would yeah. you know use new abilities would mean you have to engage with your operator your operator can't climb as well as your warframe so you'd be able to like oh right maybe i need to do different things to interact and get around the map you know it changes what your your player power and your inter your challenges you have to overcome whereas my you know, it, they, they, they like take half a step towards that but make that an optional step and then shy away is what's happening every time so my thoughts are if it's optional the player base won't do it exactly yep. they don't like it and if you force it down the player base's throat, how many people are you going to lose? Right. So now this is why I'm hoping that Imperial Im, Im, uh, Railjack, yeah, is going to come out a lot more fully fleshed than other stuff we got in the past. Because that's kind of the problem. D kind of tries to release everything like they succeeded with the Warframe, where they kind of release the small project and expand on it to get to where it is today. Yeah. And then, like the release of Arcwing. The release of Keystone, the release of uh, the Focus Tree, it's always done the same way. It's like very bare bones at first that they'll add to later. It won't for Warframe, let me get it wrong. But then like the, the release of Arcwing is like a mini release of Warframe again. And it came in bare bones and minimal. And people just went, no, I don't want to go back to that. And they didn't learn anything of, hey, we need to get it to this stage and people will then appreciate it. And let's do all these bonuses we learn from this. They always release things at the same sort of stage. Like bare bones, minimal MVP. Instead of going, this is a fully fleshed out concept. Bam, here we go. And that's why Railjack. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. See my hoping. I'm hoping is is going to be different. This is going to be bam, fully fully realized. Step day one. Okay. Do you want? Okay. Make time for a card. I'm asking. Yeah, I'd, uh, time. All right. I'm asking. Would you like Loz's operator combat? <laughs> I just realized we, yes. I suppose we answered the topic in the first thing is that why can't we downrank? That's what that's what the thing should have. Yeah. Yeah. So, so do you want to have that as another card as well? What why don't we have uh, downrank? Should we be able to downrank focus? Oh the answer to that is yes. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, what you got? Everyone in their right mind would say yes. Yeah. And I think it would fix this person's problem because they, they could upgrade them, but then they could go for the lower one, which is better to their playstyle. I do feel yeah. that this person seems to be more solely focused. Like, yeah, like this 
feeling it more as a solo player than anything else. But mm. like, I feel the focus system has more of an issue for, uh, and this this is how we got down this rabbit hole is the fact that the problem for the focus is it's not getting any care and attention. It's not getting any care and attention. You don't use operators. Well, why don't you use operators? Because you're not forced to use operators. That's how we got down this rabbit hole. Yeah. So I, though I do agree with you, I think there should be forced operator-based gameplay. Maybe oh. make it so that, that well, like you go. maybe there should be special missions or what have you, or maybe you should be able to level up your operator faster because sometimes it feels like it's too slow. What? I, I just realized what the time was and you said you wanted to finish by 11. Yeah, no, I already, <laughs> pushed, it. I already, I already pushed it back an hour. Oh, okay, it's fine. Right, we'll finish up. Then. Yeah, sorry, I've completely just been ranting. Sorry, yeah, you're yeah. saying, yeah, no, yeah. Sorry, go back one step because I missed the last sentence. So, crap, I can't remember what I was saying. Operators have to manu- uh, have to make it. Oh, make make it. make them level up faster, right? right. Oh, yeah. Because, Why does that cap exist in the game now? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I I seriously actually, there's a question, right? Should the focus cap be removed? Yeah, right? I heard that. Because that that is a problem right now. Uh, I'd should... play more if that cap was gone. Honestly, true. Because I know I can just sit down and play, play and play and play. But like the, the the big thing about the focus cap is that it's there for. Oh, what's the name of the dang thing? It was there to prevent you from speeding through the content too quickly. Time. This is year old content. Yeah, it's years old content. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so fuck it, do it. And like, I don't like how we have key-related systems. Like, oh yeah, in order to do mutus added V, you have to have mutus oh, yes. yeah, nav yeah, cord. Yeah. It's like, well, no, just Rathum as well. I think that's on points, isn't it? Do you have yeah. to do get points to, to yeah to do Keela or something? Points don't mean prizes, but it, oh, even yeah, so, just like have it so that the name of the thing. What's the name of the thing? Those those restrictions. They just get removed. Like the whole weekly, sorry, daily to weekly syndicate cap. Uh, sorry, rep caps. Change, yeah. You know. It would make things more interesting, yeah, definitely. After six months, it's going to go to a weekly cap um, grind. Oh. Yeah. After six months, the cap's coming off. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Shall we move Go on to replies. So, what about the ability to lock and unlock any node regardless of the of their position once you have everything maxed out. That way you could satisfy the completionist, max everything, and disable the annoying nodes while keeping the other ones done... I think that's supposed to be down the line active. Yeah, now, I'm so, not... so the whole point is that if the bad node is like the first thing off the trunk, but then yeah. you want to keep the good... No- like... I, I would say you should be able to downrank to rank one, but you still have to have it active. Yeah, agreed. I don't like being able to... yeah. Next reply is, would it honestly be too much if, at least at max rank, abilities don't drain any extra energy? All the good abilities people use don't use any extra energy. Meanwhile, whenever I use an ability that does increase my energy drain, I just eventually turn it off because it's never worth having on all the time and not worthwhile specifically turning on. What? I'm just going to say yes. I I think it's a a bit like the, the... what was it called with the melee when you're channeling? Yeah. They're obsessed with drain. They're, all the channeling mods have ridiculous energy drain. And all of the upgrades, as this person pointed out, it just drains your energy more. Uh, it, I, I just feel they're focused too much on drain, and that's the issue here, and that's what people are pointing out. Drain was the, the negative of all these upgrades. It was more powerful, but it drained more. Right? And. Fair enough. Yeah. But uh, next two replies, I'm sorry, but you're wrong about Void Stalker. That one is amazing for Eidolon hunting with Redeemer Prime. It lets you easily one shot the parts. Let's have a look. So, what they're saying about the Void Stalker one. 
Naramon, Void Stalker. Sitting in the Void Crouches charges up melee crit buff. Leveling it increases the crit buff value 20 to 50% duration 5 20 seconds while raising the mana cost of sitting in the Void cost from 1 to 4 seconds. Same effect. While the effect is neat, the cost is in way more than uses. It also gets in the way of the next node of the branch. The Warhacking Void Hunter, which currently versus you, goes from 2 mana to 1 as you level it. Yeah, I think down ranking would let people choose what they want. Yeah. And then the last the last thing is totally agree. It would make more sense for those nodes to start out with max energy cost and get cheaper as you level them up. In general, yeah, to be honest, I think everything should be cheaper as you increase it. Ah, but then it's supposed to be like it's getting more expensive. You see, I, see if it's gonna if it's gonna become more expensive, you should have the ability to turn off that higher tier so you can go for the lower level one. Yeah, if everything's I mean, just going to be cheaper, there's no reason to keep the lower level ones. See, the, the, the issue I have is that you can increase your energy pool. I, I'm just like, it, maybe there should be more ability to increase your energy pool. Like, like no, I, I am in favor of a drain, but I'm also in favor for a downgrade. So, like, if you want to be stronger, it requires more effort or whatever. Mm. You know, if you want to do a sprint, then, you know, you have to push harder. You know, you, that's one of the reasons why I didn't like, I never liked the fact that in order to sprint, you know, or they, they remove the green stamina bar for everything mm. including sprinting i never liked mm. that i was fine for it not to apply to melee combat that made truck tons of sense but the whole point of a sprint is you're pushing your body beyond what you should normally be able to do and you can't keep it up mm. but they took it away everyone's in favor for that i'm fine for that but it doesn't make a great deal of sense you can't push the body like, why would you ever turn off not sprinting? Yeah. Anyway. So why would you ever turn off sprinting? My, you get my point. I know what you meant. Cool. Right. Well, I think that's it for this topic. Yes. Yeah. Let's stop because uh, I've been going ranty every cool. topic today. Uh, please put in the comments descriptions feedback because I will read it. I apologize for being so ranty and ill this week and incoherent with my babbling. Hopefully better next week. So, yes, let's move on, though. Let us move on to... Memes. The memes. The, the silly thing is, though, that with the... No, oh, I had a point. I lost it. Never mind. Moving on. Yep. First meme. Oh, my God. <laughs> I saw this one. I, I had seen this one on Twitter, but... Uh, the meme frame, obviously, these are as once again. So we're going through so just six memes from the, the r slash meme frame Reddit. Please check them out. They have some hilarious memes. You ever want to laugh in the middle of the day or you're like, oh, I'm a bit bored, go on there. And that every day people are making awesome Warframe based memes. They are hilarious. So here's just something from obviously Rebecca, Steve, and Megan, I think, are in Japan at the moment. And some well, amazing they, stuff. They, down there. they should be back is, by now, but yeah. Uh, okay. Here's Best Waifu. There you go. It would be a made outfit, wouldn't it? Knees white hair. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> ah, you're very uh, specific in your maids. No, I'm I'm very specific in my waifus. Oh, I see. Yeah. Right, number two. Your best waifu. <laughs> <laughs> right, is it is it loading? Yeah. Why is it not loading? For Move. Me? Do it. Look. It's not loading for me. Oh, so there we go. Think I found where they got the builds for Akvasto and Vasto Prime from Yeehaw. Josie Inus, eight cylinder, forty eight shot percussion revolver, dated eighteen fifty five. That thing's prime. <laughs> that thing is just pure prime. I've never seen a prime gun in real life. Now I have. I wonder how it turns the uh, chambers separate from. I think they'd have to be a second cog behind that cog. Yeah, it's probably probably in the middle of all the barrels. There's probably like a clockwork mechanism. There the, the, the definitely is. But would you actually click through all of the? Oh god, the the rounds in a single cylinder before you move on to the next one, or would you rotate the whole thing? But using the gears, oh. rotate 
the the cylinders as well. Because the problem is, depending on how you do it, if you do it that way, which I think would mechanically be simple, sorry, um, be easier, but logically you don't want to end up back on an empty chamber of a cylinder that you've already fired. If I'm making any sense. Regardless, I can't imagine anyone using this for more than like five seconds. Mm -mm. magazines. Right, moving on. So I'm trying to find some more information. I've found another picture, but uh, not ex explanation of how it works. Moving so sadly, that's, yeah. Moving on to number three. Not. Why? I'm trying to get this go back up so I can go for the link because I closed all the... Uh, there we are. Right, number three. I still have a mode to amp, and I'm master rank 15. Please help. Is <laughs> is apparently a new Minecraft map around a lot. Using a moat amp, and it's a wooden pickaxe on obsidian, I think that That's is. That's bedrock. That bedrock. But you is, can't break bedrock no matter what. You can't what. break bedrock, yep. Using literally anything else, and that is some sort of diamond enchanted pickaxe on basic rock? No, I, I think that's like netherrack or something. I don't know. Okay, there you go. Yep, there you go. Minecraft ship, moving on. Minecraft. Moving on to number four. Ta-ta, lovelies. Plague Star must come back as final wave act. No, sorry, final night wave act. Change my mind. Good, no. good, I'll change my mind. Well, it's just a combination of what it's of the infested stuff would be. Hey, and Plague Star's yeah. back. It'd be kind of cool. I think it's cool. Right, moving on to number five. Random party. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. There we go. Several master, grandmasters, and initiate. No, 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 no. The uh, is that is that grandmaster? I thought that was grandmaster. The uh, no, the, those those are the the mastery ranks, yeah. The yeah, yeah. Is it the very tippy top one, grandmaster, or something? There are, no, the three. Those three are the same. Three people on the left are all the same. Right. Okay. And they're all three grandmasters. And then you have one initiate. So it's like these are three expert people because they've got all their medals. And he has no medals. So he is initiate. Making me open up Steam, finding out. <laughs> on Steam. Uh, the first reply is I like how the other guys are a higher mastery rank than currently possible. Of course they are. Look at the medals. They have all the medals. Curse you, Steam. Right, should we, is, is, was that the last one? That was number five, wasn't it? No, there was one last one, which was specifically for Zeno. The hell's... Oh my god, this is... What, a gravity oh, falls me. I need to look closer. Now, sure. if you... Nidus is absolutely bonkers, and I love him for that. Now, if you excuse me, I have some corpus to turn into corpses. See you real soon. Ten seconds later. Once I get my hands on you... Pricks! I'm gonna break down your lipid bilayers. Okay. And it's a nullifier and a scrambus, I think. Yeah. Right. So, so it's like he's he's the all powerful creature, which is yeah. it's Nidus. But then they're ruining his day because they're they're nullifiers. Bill Cipher. They're, they're nullifying his stacks. See? I don't know how the correction is false for lipid bilayers. Actually, I what think they were masters. Like? They weren't even grandmasters. Oh, the masters. Okay. But still, yeah, the other person. Memes. Right, so. Let us go for the give me shout outs, you know. Give me shout outs. All right, first year a shout out. You're not going to paste it into the Discord chat, are you? Ma I was waiting for you to paste it into the Discord chat for me, so don't worry about it. Yeah. So I don't know why because I never do it. Right. So the first crazy shout out is Chibi Limbo and Banshee by Miss Newt. Oh, this this is actually Miss Leos. She has changed her name to Miss Newt. Don't think I wouldn't notice. Should I update my book? Where's my book? Gone? You're not met, um, Miss Leos. She's not in the book. Oh no. I, no I don't think anyone's Still in the book yet. Yeah, we should work on that. So yeah, so but anyway, this artwork is really good. I yeah. All right. The second community shout out is this mag Aww. by Wingy that's lost Aww. to fandoms. A flower from the past that she can't remember. I think that's supposed to be specifically a lotus flower. 
Oh, the feels. The feels. Yeah. The third community shout out is this gorgeous pinup mag. Numa? Is that how you pronounce I, the deluxe name? And I think so. Again, this is by Miss Newt. I oh. saw this on a meme and I was just like, what was it? Was it, was it very how? Where is it? Find it? So this, this was, again, Miss Leos, who was, I think, experimenting with different <laughs> forms of lighting as nice. Leos coughs and chokes and dies. My apologies. Dying with my throat. Yeah, okay, I think Loz is looking for that. Well. Can't find that, but it was, yeah, it was like, this, this artwork is just crazy beautiful. It really is. Just, yep. Yep. The fourth community shout out is this Corpora Nova by, I think this is Confederate Uni. It's kind of hard to tell by the name. Could be Wait. Confederate. What? I know this. Wait, which one are we looking at? Did I link you the wrong thing? Confederate. Um, it's a Corpora Nova wearing like a pink hoodie and. Yes, this this I I chatted to the, the dude at the breakfast of VIP last time. He's good. He's cool. cool. I think Frelling Hasmart, who is the artist of the Corpora Nova, actually. Oh, sorry. Yes, so I see. So he's the one who tweeted it, but it's sorry. Yeah. Yes, it's yeah. by Confederate. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Right. Uh, I don't like the jackets. I, it's beautiful, but like, I just feel the jackets. It just. Uh, hey, I'd love to have that jacket. The jacket is amazing, but it, I just, I just, it's just not Warframe. Just no. I'm sorry. Just. What about the trousers? I didn't notice them till you pointed them out. Right. Moving on to the fifth curiosity. Cannot shout. unsee. Right. Loki decoy, please, by Gamley. What? So he's, he's, he's a sale on floofs of yeah. Warframes. Yeah. And then he says. That's the symbol something, for something. decoy. Decoy, decoy. And he sells him a little floof decoy. Ah, oh, okay. That's cool. Next one. Yeah. Wow. Can't get off that fast enough. The, it, was, no, it was really cool, but I realized. The that. sixth community shout out is this gorgeous Oberon Fayark. I see why you wanted this in here. This is amazing. By. Mm -hmm. Probably doodle. Mika Art. So Mika, really nice. Art. I, I would love to see a finished one. Yep. The, right, so this one I thought was just adorable, and I'd love to see this for Wisp. The seventh community, uh, community shout-out is Mlem by Zilftree. Aww. I, I, would, I would just genuinely love to see something of that design, that ilk, for Wisp. I just, just it won't out, happen. I think it would be cool if it didn't have the mouth. But that, that's the whole Mlem thing. Oh, is that is that the Mlem thing? Okay. Wow, well, okay. No. You you know what Mlem is, right? Is that like cat sticking their tongue out? Yeah. Right. I didn't know that. Yeah. Fair enough. Last one. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work without it. Right. Yeah, I'm like damn it. <laughs> <laughs> like the rest of it I think would be cooler without the mouth, but it's like oh that's the whole point. I'm like, oh, Okay, we'll right. And then the eighth creative shout out is this fantastic Revenant by Tom Tom. I like literally just before we're about to record, I found this and it was just like, holy bees, that's going in. Can you please do a whole comic and get D to pay you to do it so yep. I can buy it and yep. be like, this is amazing. Yep. Okay, that's, that's awesome. That's so Right. Cool. That's it for awesome community shout outs. Yep. Sorry for rushing, but I know Xena has other. So I'm just going to ask we get to my quote. Oh my god, I made a long one. Mm -hmm. Say it. Another planet, another time. In the age of the Orokin, 10,000 years ago, these worlds, was gr these worlds were green and good until the siphon cracked. For a single part was lost, a braid of the siphon. Then the strife began, and two new races appeared, the cruel Grenier and the gentle corpus. That crystal. Here in the Kuva Fortress, the Grenier <laughs> took control. Now the Grenier gather in the siphon chamber. Where the siphon hangs above the shaft of air and fire, the Grenier, <laughs> with their hard and twisted bodies, their harsh and twisted wills, for 10,000 years they have ruled, and yet now they're only 10, a dying race, ruled by a pair of dying empresses. Imprisoned, or oh, queens, that's queens, it should be queens, dying queens. Uh, da, 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 da. Imprisoned within themselves in a dying land. Today, once more, they gather at the siphon as the first sun climbs to its.
But this is the way of the Grineer, as, the, as they ravage the land, so too they learn to draw new life from the void. Today, once more, they will replenish themselves, cheat death again, through the power of their source, their treasure, their fate, the Kuva Siphon. Yeah, I got that as Dark Crystal. A, from the conversation we were having about the TV show, <laughs> and B, actually, the thing that gave it away was the, the splitting into two races. Yeah. Right? yeah like, yeah. honestly, it's been freaking forever since I've seen the movie, right? That is, like, one of the only things I remember about uh, the movie. So, yeah. Cool. That was good. Yep, Dark Crystal. As a TV series, I've just spent my time watching it. I may be obsessed with it, and the movie is still really good. People should probably watch it because uh, it needs a second season because I think it's really good. A bit slow, uh, which I, I'll nod. Xenos is a bit slow at points. Early on, it is a bit slow, but still really, really good. And it's a great blend of puppets, which you enough of, which kind of more real than just pure CG, I yeah. feel. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Xeno has other stuff to do. Uh, we'll see you all next week. Oh. Well, I will be more healthy and coherent. Will you, though? dying. I'll try. I... I don't know if I'll move by then. Probably not. Oh, okay. Well, I'll probably record... Well, I'm moving on the Saturday, so we'll probably record on the Friday. Oh, uh, okay. Your last recording in your current place. Mm, nostalgic. <laughs>